<laughs> what are you gonna do, Leonard? <laughs> yes, a little bitch. <laughs> I'm not Who the fuck does she think she is, man? She's Christina Broccolini. Oh, okay. So she can't. It's just. Are we going? Yeah, we're rolling. Oh. <laughs> well, he tried. I mean, here I'll I'll read the text that he sent me. Who Adam sure. McLeod? Yeah. Because he was with he was not even a minute in, and we're going to go to Christina Broccolini. Well, since we have a a guest from Canada here, oh yeah, well, I don't live that far from where she is. I guess right. Would you say Montreal? About two two and a half three hours from there. Have you ever heard of her? Uh, actually, not until you guys started mentioning. There you her. go. Okay. See, just like everybody else, Leonard. But to be fair, I don't really hear about much. I kind of live my life inside of a gym. Nothing wrong with that. Introduce yourself, man. Uh, my name is Jay. I'm from uh, originally from Calgary, Alberta, but I've been living in Ottawa, Ontario now for a couple of years, and uh, been a personal trainer for about ten years, and a misfit fan for a couple of years now. You were first down here in November. We went out to Tilt a Kill together. What fight was that? We went out to see. You uh, where uh, the girl that looked like Eleven from Stranger Things beat the crap out of the other one. And oh, like Rose Norman Yunus. That's right. the one. I mean, I don't know her name. Rose. Wait. Thug Rose at uh, Cormier was calling her. You know when that bald girl just she beat she beat the other oh. girls whose name I can't fucking pronounce either. What is uh, it, Lenny? Shirt. Leonard's opening up a shirt. Lenny, oh, boy. someone on. sent Lenny a shirt. You have another. I see two collection. names: Broccolini and Christ. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Leonard got another gift. That's a tank top. Great. Turn it around. Turn around. Perfect. Let's see. Oh boy. Oh boy. He's mesmerized. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Who's your from? Say thank you. This, this is there a letter in there? See if there's anything in, inside the envelope. Look. Inside the envelope. It should have a return. <sighs> there isn't. I look. Fuck's Nothing. Sake. Columbia, Tennessee. Huh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that is a wonderful shirt. Do not iron. <laughs> like you have a fucking iron anyway. Well, thank you for whoever it is from Tennessee. So, do you have like a whole closet full of shirts people Yes, you? I have the whole yeah. broccolini collection. I guess it's not sacrilegious. I guess it's a good thing. Pick up your microphone. I wouldn't consider it sacrilegious. I think it's a good thing considering Christina's an angel. Oh, please. Oh, there you go. And I think maybe she wants the meeting to be as it should be, carrying me into heaven. It's the only way, way to go, and that's fine with me. <laughs> so, Lenny, I, I was, I've was, i been reading some of the comments on Instagram lately, and I also got a few messages leading into this podcast, and I would, I've been requested to ask you a question. You went out to a nightclub recently. You got a smartphone. <laughs> Are you transforming into a cookie cutter before our eyes? What, what's going uh, on? I'm just... The smartphone is actually advantageous to my career and destiny, so... The smartphone is fucking for porn and stalking Christina. Surprisingly, honest, well, back page. I saw new pictures of Christina and also saw mm -hmm. new pictures of Lucy. I googled in world's biggest asses. It's just the top of my head this morning, Why not? and I saw a lot of pictures. <laughs> and one of the about six of them were Lucy. Oh, I, sh I showed Jay Lucy that picture I have saved on my desktop for you. <laughs> you need a little motivation before the podcast started, right. so I showed him some pictures. What do you think about that, Jay Lucy? Uh, that was a. Uh Definitely quite the something, all right. That's for sure. He inked one out. Yeah, definitely. I <laughs> wow. Go in the bathroom for a minute and uh, close the door. Hey, when you're on that trend, you'll do that. If that's for sure. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, there's no shortage of that. Yeah, trend. Oof, man, especially at your age. Well, you're what? You're 29. 29. Yeah. I remember, I took that for my first time in my late 20s, early 30s, and the aggression was unbelievable well speaking of which we were just talking about before the podcast started we uploaded the video yesterday of the 2004 southern states and we were talking about what got you so pissed off and you were throwing those punches when you're on stage what was that about well i had some booze and then obviously let's go shrek it says get this guy off the stage or whatever you mean you drank some booze or you were getting well, i was on ghb oh. <laughs> i went before i went on stage that's for sure i was g'd up and I just said, anyone want to fucking come up here and say it to my fucking face? You know, I was throwing chairs and knocking down tables backstage. <laughs> Craig Titus gave me a fucking dirty look on the way out, but he didn't say anything. 
Oh, he was at that show? Yeah, he was a guest poser. Trying to sell a bunch of cheap costume jewelry, him and his wife, Kelly Ryan. Diana Cadu actually hit on Andrew Kalora. She made a pass at him. And that was his first show. When he came walking by, she's like, her eyes almost popped out of his head, her head. <laughs> I have a VHS tape somewhere. I was on that TV show, Deco Drive Me and Andrew with a transsexual Daisy Dead Pedals. I got to find that. I'm surprised get nobody that has there. found that. I got to get that on there. That's very entertaining because they kept coming back to us. And what year was it? 2004. What time of year? I didn't even know it was a tranny, honestly, the first until somebody told me later. Because I never watched the show, you know, cookie cutter show. But as far as that goes, no, I there was meant to meet some fans, and Brad called me an Uber, and I figured, what the hell, I didn't have to train the next day. Plus, I told him Nate was out. And yeah. He never misses a chance to see Nate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell you the truth, I didn't get much from the drinking at all. I really didn't. What'd you have? A few what? vodka drinks. Some special type of vodka they make in Austin, Texas. Tito's. Well, there's a lot of cookie cutter libtards over there. I heard. <laughs> well, they slipped your roof or anything. I wish they would have. <laughs> you know, those beans, I liked it. And of course, GHB, uh, little hand tent maniacs, ship them out. <laughs> you know, those are my two favorites. Ship them out, ship them over. Then you'll see some great mints. <laughs> so, so Jay, when did you first start following this whole saga of ours? Well, honestly, I kind of came about it right after the whole Rich Piana slapping incident, and mm -hmm. I really had no idea who anybody was. I watched, um, I guess it'd be that Infinite Elk Intensity there on his fail videos. I seen him comment on that, and then next thing you know, I watched one of Jason's videos, kind of found him annoying, but then you guys were on there ripping on him, and I found <laughs> you guys extremely entertaining. And as I started watching more and more, I started watching more of the Misfits and less of a uh, Genova. And yeah, it just kind of spiraled from there. Did you ever meet Jason? I didn't. That's shocking because usually we always get sloppy seconds every time people come to meet. Sorry, Jason, I already <laughs> met him first. Actually, I'm I'm like, how is that and possible? They're already scarred. <laughs> yeah, they've already been extorted. And oh, no, no. Pockets I, are turned inside out. <laughs> I couldn't afford a meeting with Jason, you know. I don't have 15 buck PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think it is? Because this is one of the things I, I always kind of ponder. What do you think it is about this whole... Is it too warm in the house? I'll lower the AC if you want. No, I'm good. Right? I sweat randomly. All right. wonder why. Sitting next to Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not on that particular you-know-what right now, so... <laughs> what is it about this whole saga, do you think, with us and Jason and Mentz that causes people to love certain people, to hate certain people, to want to troll certain people, to get so emotionally invested when you read comments on, on youtube and on instagram it, it's it'll be unique to hear the perspective of someone who i guess is a fan or a maniac who doesn't even live in this country so i'd love to hear it well, honestly it's just how real you guys seem right um right from how you guys used to almost babysit jason until just your interactions <laughs> with each other you just i'm a bit of a misfit in life myself like i don't really do much i have a hard time making connections and i just felt like i connected a lot with you guys even when the did videos. you start lifting weights jay um about 10 years ago and then i really didn't get into the that's body sort of late in life 19 yeah how's that late well a lot of people i started at 13 and my father didn't want me to mess up my growth plates he always said if you train heavy before you could stunt your growth i wish i would have started earlier i was heavy into martial arts growing up uh and I guess that was everything I had then. And I got a little chubbier when I got out of doing that because I was still eating like I was doing a lot of stuff and put on a lot of weight. Next thing you know, I'm 260 pounds. I'm not looking like the way I look. Jesus. Getting to a gym. Same height? Yeah, same, same height. I was 6'2", 267-ish. And, uh, you know, I fell out well. I don't get overly large, but I just look puffy. Yeah. And then... I don't know, I leaned down quite a bit, didn't like that either, and uh, started adding some mass, and about, about 25, 26, I really got geared into bodybuilding, and from there, I just, just keep going. Shit. How are the public schools in Canada? Um, depends <laughs> where you go. Honestly, it really depends. It's where I was in the northern part of 
I guess the what a random West. question. <laughs> it was kind of <laughs> shitty. Um, unless, unless you played a lot of hockey, you didn't get a lot of attention there. Uh, teachers kind of looked at you a little funny, and I was that dorky kid that preferred to. So hockey was the, the he-man sport. Do you have any mongoloids jerking off under the stairs for a bunch of little girls? <laughs> Honestly, probably, but uh, they were probably doing it to each other in the locker room after a hockey game, <laughs> and, uh, grabbing each other's asses while pretending they're straight. But uh, that's my view of hockey. I'm not a big fan, and I guess that's sacrilege just for a Canadian to say, but I am not a hockey fan. Good, um, you didn't fall in with the cookie-cutter hockey fans. No, I was the weird kid who would uh, do martial arts and uh, play Pokemon on the original Game Boy. That was my thing. And Legend of Zelda and all that fun stuff. Huh. You weren't into any pro wrestling or anything like that? I watched a little bit of it when it was still WWF, and I was a big fan of, like, The Undertaker and The Rock. Obviously, he was quite the character, and... Not as much as I could have been. My cousins were pretty nuts into the point where they broke like stair banisters, throwing each other through it. And, <laughs> uh, Don't yeah. try this at home, they say. Yeah, they try. Everybody tried. does. Yeah. <laughs> well, I remember them setting up their mattresses on the lawn and jumping off the uh, awning onto the. And how about how many deaths? Yeah. <laughs> little girls get each, one. Little girls get killed. Put each other to sleep with the sleeper hole. And that shit works too. Oh, it does. I feel that'd be scared. We used to take all the couch cushions off the couches and lay them across the living room and body slam each other and shit and do all. You that still crap. do that, from what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> You've been talking to Dale, right? I have been. Yeah, I got a question from Dale here. First, I'm supposed to say, um, "Yeah, buddy," to you, Lenny, and um, I have to ask. Why you call him out in that tranny porn? Because it's something you'll never do, Dale. It's something you don't got the balls to do. He was dreaming of you slapping his ass, Dale. <laughs> I seen somebody put it in that video. The one with me and Andrew Kalor, they put excerpts of that me getting slapped. It's in the They're already doing edits of it? <laughs> yeah, in the new <laughs> What is it? It's me and Andrew Kalor, a brand new uh you gotta be a freak. Oh. And they're showing uh, some of the things when he came down and they're showing me getting slapped in the when ass. When did he put that up? A couple days ago. Oh, yeah, I watched that. He oh, always that. does funny shit. <laughs> but at least you, could, you can publicize. Feel free to plaster that tranny's face anywhere you want, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was paid for, not by me, but... You know, that's that's her going rate. Right. She agreed to that. That's her porno rate. Right? Uh, she got some it. some guy that's been messing. So you can plaster her anywhere you want. And that's a her, Dale. I got to tell you about this fucking guy. He's been messaging me like crazy. He wants to fight you because you're a faggot. <laughs> Good. He said he's, he, I guess he lives down here. He said he, he'll train at um, Busybody West. Lenny has made numerous open challenges. I'm 6'1". I fight at 155 pounds. Sometimes, what? Sometimes 145. What? Just listen. I walk around at 185, so any weight Lenny wants me at, I'll do it. He's basically double my weight and has been racist online and acts like a tough guy online, so it, it make me ecstatic to spar with him. I'll give him 5,000 cash if he makes it one minute with me <laughs> if he's a real tough guy he'll take this challenge i'll sign whatever liability paperwork because i won't need it speed kills and i'm not losing to a gay guy <laughs> one minute and immediately du dually's den and there's no liability on my part because in that within that time in one minute you're going to be he said let's make disabled it me and lenny kickboxing i'll rent out the ring at busy body west i used to train there all right maniacs all if right, you guys yeah. match the five grand he will be disabled within a minute. Well, so he wants the white kid on the left. Let me see. <laughs> Look at his face. Let me see him. The kid on the left. That that transsexual would kick your ass, there, punk. <laughs> what's What's funny though, like you've you've had these open challenges to people. You've never said you'll kick anybody's ass. You just said you'll fight anybody. That doesn't mean you're going to win. You, this kid will be disabled within a minute. Well, <laughs> Well, he said he wants a kickboxing match, so he's laying down rules. Well, that's true. You don't want me kicking you in that stick body. You can't lift up your fucking leg to kick. No fucking shit. Believe me, he signs a liability for him. I'll do my best to kill him. Jay, <laughs> Jay here can train you for the fight. Yeah, can be He's fun. got some stories. He'll, he'll get into them Let's hear some stories, podcast. Jay. Oh, boy. Uh, what are they in? Well, you used to work as a bouncer, right? Yeah, I did bodyguarding and bouncing. Strip clubs or nightclubs? Nightclubs mostly, and then I also did concert events and stuff like that. Usually if some local club would have talent in, so anybody from Steve Aoki to Kevin Hart, whoever would come in, they'd also hire some of us on, especially me. Like, I had my own little company, I guess. 
And we would, because um, we knew all the local troublemakers, they'd hire one or two of us or whoever, and yeah, I usually worked on stage or around them quite a bit. Uh, shit, the stories are... This is in Ottawa? No, this is in uh, Calgary. Calgary. I'll, I'll leave it there, because I haven't done anything in the last couple of years. It's just been a bit of a break from it. But let's, let me think of a few here. I've got a lot here. So I used to work a lot of the hip-hop shows, which are my least favorite. Cause the what? Like the hip-hop. Like Never rappers. heard of it. Exactly. <laughs> but it brings up kind of the worst people you can imagine in those areas. You're kidding. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And, wow. You know, not, not, not to generally rip on people who like that type of music, but it you know all the welfare bums and uh non-employed people that like to bring little ceramic knives and stuff and try to stab you would come to those places and when they got thrown out because they're all of like 110 pounds soaking wet they would come back and bear mace the whole place because they're real winners right but i just remember a lot of shows well, they gravitate to that music i mean oh. there's no doubt about it yeah i stopped working those after a while and started hiring out to other people for that because i just didn't want to deal with it anymore. Yeah, uh, let me think here. It's not worth the aggravation. Uh, I think it was. I want to say it was either Ice Cube or who was it? Never Did heard of it. Ever? I can't remember. It, the music's all all the same to me at this point. I'm a rock person anyway. But I remember I was up on stage and this guy jumps the barrier and I don't know where the hell he got a bottle from, but he went to go throw it and I just booted him right in the middle of the chest and I sent him flying over. Probably a good 10 feet over the barrier and right to the crowd, <laughs> and they just threw him out the back. Like, literally, they just crowd carried him over and just threw him. No idea where he went after that, but he probably had a pretty good bruise on his chest. Cause I'm not a, not a <laughs> was he a porch monkey? <laughs> <laughs> um, he, he was definitely brown in color, but I don't think he was that dark. Oh. <laughs> like your color, then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, kind of, yeah. But then uh, he's darker than most yeah, he porch is, monkeys. <laughs> Uh, what else did fucking Dale say? Uh, Dale could just message us. I was uh, from earlier, actually. I read that message when I was walking through Target, and I actually started crying because I wasn't expecting that to uh, come on. I was laughing too hard. Jay, do you want to give your Instagram or no? So people can see who you are. Because everyone's going to get angry it, at me for not filming. Is it private it? or? No, it's okay. fine. It's uh, Jay the Wolf K. J T H E W O L F K. I'm perfectly fine. Jay the Wolf, letter K. That's correct. Uh, I'm uh, a stranger to trolls as it is, so I'm okay with that. Are you a stranger to transsexuals, Jay? Uh, yes, I am. I have never uh, had the delight. Yeah, it's like heroin. Don't get mixed up in it because you're, you'll be scarred for life. I got enough scars. I don't think I need those ones. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about Trudeau? I think he's a dipshit. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> I'm hoping that, um, like, there's a meme floating around that apparently Caitlyn Jenner is going to donate her testes to him so he grows a pair. <laughs> 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 Definitely not a fan of our, I guess you can call him Prime Minister. He's, I have no idea what to even describe it as. He's How does someone like that even get elected? Facebook. Simply put, he won the media by social election. It was uh, nobody who actually voted for him, understood his policies, and. You know, you'd hear people as, oh, he felt good looking, and garbage like that. Uh, uh, it was bullshit. And, oh, he's so nice. Well, now everybody's really regretting it because everything he touches turns to shit. And he's let all, lets all the shit come in like crazy from what I hear. That's why I want to come here. Well, the one good thing he might be doing is legalizing pot everywhere, right? He's been trying to do that for a while. Brad, pot is legal. You ever have problems getting pot? No, you're right. It still hasn't happened yet. <laughs> why do you true. want to pay all the taxes? <laughs> I mean, uh, prostitution and pot are legal. Yeah. Last time I you checked. You got a good point. You got I never got busted. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be pretty stupid to be on the list of getting pot busted in a sting. I tell you what. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to get busted for that there. It's pretty much everywhere. You're looking there. to move out of there? Yeah, we're definitely not um, definitely not a fan of uh, the Canada's policies. Like, I like Ottawa for the most part, but also tired of the snow in the winter is it true you really can't speak out against the government of freedom of speech it's getting I heard it's a point. little stricter than the united states it's getting to that point now where i think he's trying to actually get things like facebook and other groups to take down stories against him whether or not that's true i don't really follow that much to look that deep into it nor do i care so the very same thing that got him elected he now wants to restrict yeah he wants to restrict anything going against him i guess Somebody will have to find the validity on that because I'm not 100% sure, but that's what he criticizes like Trump for. He's trying to do himself. And um, I guess you could say some, but you're more likely to get attacked by the people that voted for him, especially in Ottawa, it seems, even though it's a very conservative city. 
just because I like to disturb the shit, I've ordered a couple Make America Great Hut Great Huts. <laughs> I'm gonna wear them around the local area there because it's gonna set people off. And I'm not a small guy. I, I don't mind if people say some things. I find it quite amusing because I'm not too concerned about what they're gonna do. Give me your Trump shirt. <laughs> I've actually been looking. I had to find them on Amazon, but yeah, no, no, uh, no stranger to disturb, uh, to disturb this shit with that. So I hear people tell me that you don't even have to work up there. You can. You get, you get a check very easily from the government. Oh, the welfare system there is a pretty big joke. It's a very abused system. Yeah, there's a lot of people that sit there and do nothing. It's just like here. But I heard it's worse. Yeah, they pretty much just get a cash check, and then that's it. Like, every month they get whatever, and family allowance, too. So depending on how many kids you have, you get paid for a kid from the government, too, unless you make a certain income. And, and you pay taxes out the ass up there, right? Yeah, to a degree. Um, that, that's why pro athletes hate when they get traded to a Canadian team like the Toronto Blue Jays or the you know, Toronto Raptors. It's just like when teams have to go play in Canada. Right. Your game check is Interesting, taxed yeah. different. Yeah. Or when they go to London to play with the football, they get taxed different there, too. Yeah, tax is a little interesting there. Yeah, they can take quite a bit of your check. I can so, or they do? Well, they do, but I'm self-employed, so I do things a little differently. You know, whatever you can do to... Not evade it, but you know, you make your investments as you will, so you get a better tax break on it and your retirements and everything else. So, do what you can to avoid it, as well as you know, you can take gifts here and there, which don't quite count. So, if somebody PayPal's you a gift or something like that, that's not considered a payment as long as it's a gift, so it's not taxable. And how much can the gift be up to? Um, well, I forget what they report, out, report up to, but I think you can get reported. You have to report any transaction over, I think, 5000 I'm not 100% sure. It depends on your bank. Hmm. But it all it all varies. Well, the taxes are high because you get medical insurance. Yeah, if you want to wait seven or eight hours while you're bleeding out in an emergency room. <laughs> when I got stabbed. I was sitting there for, <laughs> what, two and a half hours? I'm sitting there bleeding out my arm, and I'm just, like, waiting to go in. And there's people with the coughing and colds going in front of me. Some seniors looking for some new prescriptions or someone to talk to. Unbelievable. Oh, when I had my ribs broken, he <clears throat> me right into the emergency room, and I'm still sitting there. I can't move. My arm's completely locked to my side, and I'm like in shock. I can't quite function. The doctor be right with you. Doctor comes in two hours later. What seems to be the problem? I don't know, doctor. I got something shoved up my ass. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be Alan. <laughs> Oh my god. Is that the guy I think he's talking about? Right? The one that we saw at the hospital. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> True story. He came in the emergency room with a dildo up his ass, right? Some kind of sex toy. He just said sex toy. It gets stuck up there. Yeah, it, it happens a lot. I've nurses tell me guy there's Coke there's bottles. Barbie dolls are quite popular. I could see that, you know. You could see that? That's Putting a, a Barbie doll up your ass. It looks like a it looks ass. like a girl, you know. What the fuck, Leonard? <laughs> I've heard of that happening. <laughs> I've um, I knew a nurse. A friend of mine dated her, and she worked in the emergency reception, and that was actually quite common. You never know who you get in there, and yeah, apparently that was pretty <laughs> common. I don't know about the Barbie doll aspect. I would, but just other objects. They did that in one of the Jackass movies. They toy killed car. They killed. That got killed in his car. Yeah, he put the toy car. He put a thing, toy yeah. car in a condom and shoved up his ass. <laughs> and he went to the doctor. <laughs> Something's wrong with me. And he did uh, an X-ray in the doctor saw it. It was hilarious. <laughs> I think people have too much free time on their hands. Yeah, no shit. Well, you're shoving toy cars up your ass. Yeah, you gotta go. It was fucking funny. That, that'll be what Jason tries to do next. For views. <laughs> It'll be his new um, diet hack or something. He'll be shoving stuff up his ass. <laughs> you don't take on the calories, bro. I'm standing on a treadmill and just <laughs> stare at myself. Yeah, if Dale would have got an accent in Canada, he might not be here today. They would have had him sitting on a gurney, bleeding out. That's actually a good point. Depends where it is, but yeah, it's... They had airlifting from there. Yeah, well, he's definitely lucky. Yeah. Lenny, do you listen to the Ben Mahler show? No, I've never heard it, but I'll look at it tonight. Someone asked me to ask you that. Ben, I think I'm gonna saying it right. Hold on. I don't want to fuck this up. Never heard of her. I listen to some ben, conservative dude. Steve Kane show. I, ben Michael Mahler. Savage. Of course, you you like to fucking yeah. Michael Savage. Savage is pretty entertaining. Like Andrew likes that Tucker Carlson fuck that just sits there and makes it with the bow ties. <laughs> He's annoying as fuck. 
I love to watch Tucker Carlson just intellectually dismantle everyone he has on his well, show. Well, he interrupts everybody. everybody well, those liberals, I've never had him put a good argument forth ever. No. <clears throat> They're so warped. And then these students marching around. What do you think and about when, that, Jay? When the interview's over, Tucker Carlson's just laughing at them. It's great. Well, students marching, I guess. What did it really accomplish besides getting a lot of kids out of school for the day? Like, if I was a kid, I would love to take any excuse to get out yeah. for the day. Really, I, I guess, yeah, you're trying to bring awareness to something, but really, we have guns in Canada, too, and we have stricter laws. It's not going to change much. It's just going to what? But is there shootings in Canada, like school shootings and such? Some. You I'd, would see it if there was. Wouldn't it make national? Wouldn't it make news worldwide? Well, they have a, a little bit stricter laws and such, but I honestly, you're going to have more hunting accidents than you will there anyway. But yeah. There's a lot less people there, too, so the demographic's smaller, so obviously the crime rate's going to be a little different, but there's a lot more shootings in the city areas and stuff. <clears throat> Ottawa, in the first few months, had seven or eight shootings, and f fatal shootings in the first two or three months, huh. uh, from January to whenever. It was, yeah, didn't take long. Everywhere, though, it depends, right? That many more people, that much more likelihood. It's just... Now, if you could, to the best of your knowledge, comment on Montreal, because I'm trying to get a feeling of what Christina's upbringing is so I can better understand her. She wants to stay. As I heard that's a big party possible. town because Mike P. Mike T. said he <laughs> used to go there in high school to the strip clubs. Well, you know, you hear a lot of people going there for the shopping. I guess there's quite a bit of that. It's yeah, I an, think she likes to shop. It's an older city, and I guess and a lot woman of, likes to shop. <laughs> <laughs> this is true, <laughs> but um, I think she likes to shop. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's the new quote for the night. Um, uh, but really, it's an older city, and I guess the older parts are really upkept well. Yeah. I guess like a lot of places, it's what you don't see. There's still a lot of dirty areas that are behind the scenes, but it's very touristy, right? So you will get a lot of party spots, I guess. Uh -huh. um, honestly, I've never been to a strip club, so I couldn't comment on that there. The bar scene, I guess, would be... You've never been to a strip club? I never have. Wow. I really haven't, and I've been all over the place, and even working security, I've never worked in one. I've seen them come to different bars where they were doing bachelor parties, but I've... I, I guess I just never really sat and watched them. I was always too busy making sure people weren't beating each other to death with bottles or <laughs> stabbing each other. <laughs> Getting stabbed myself a few times, which was wonderful. I, I don't, I don't recommend it. God, you stabbed yourself? No, uh, don't get stabbed yourself. Uh, but you've been stabbed. <laughs> I've been stabbed. You stabbed your, he said you're talking about your brother-in-law, <laughs> Brad. <laughs> That's his next little caper. Punch uh, himself, then he'll stab yeah. himself. Echoing. So it actually is a weird experience sitting close to a guy that possibly rubbed elbows with Christina Broccolini at a nightclub and didn't even know it. Very well. I think I'm feeling her aura about you. Oh, boy. Just keep your dick in your pants, please. please. Oh, come on, Brad. It's not about that. Oh, yeah. I forgot. My heart and soul. You start crying. She's a fucking bitch. Come on, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I love when you... Let me shut. I'm going to read, I'm gonna read you what Adam, what Adam sent me, okay? Okay. <laughs> little twaddle Adam, I appreciate your effort. If you could keep trying and trying, you know, like they say. He asked if you changed your number. He must have tried to call you today. I know you... Oh, yeah. I didn't answer the phone. I was too busy looking at... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we know. <clears throat> All right. Not sure if Andrew told you, but I got in touch with her agency through someone I did web Great. development work for. They are a staffing agency in Boston who has ties to agencies in Canada. Got connected with the agency that is for Christina. As soon as I pitched why we were looking to book Christina, they went radio fucking silent. <laughs> Even the dude from the agency I did work for said it's odd because they usually respond to things quickly. But once he forwarded that I wanted to speak with them to possibly book her for a podcast out of Del Rey, <laughs> trail went cold. Red they, flag, they probably, red flag. Yeah, they probably have a Del Rey as a red flag. When no, it I think it's just that they were so honored that they actually fainted, possibly. No, I know, possibly. I know, and they were <laughs> responding right up until they asked what was the inquiry for. Del Rey Beach and Big Lenny are probably on a blacklist for her. <laughs> I don't think so. I can no only imagine intended. how hard she was controlled. <laughs> Well, keep trying, Adam. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think she's done enough. 
I thought um, Jason was getting her for you. Apparently, I was on his Instagram. Jason That's what I thought. He's doing shit. Everything he says he's going to do, he never fucking does. That's why he's lost most of his fans and shit, because they know he's full of shit. No, I was on the Unfollow Club a few months ago. Yeah, yeah. it's just garbage. I man. honestly check it out just for the comments, and they're wonderful. <laughs> they are wonderful. I, I read them, and I, I it's honestly what I do sometimes when I'm taking a shit, because I can't think of anything better to do. <laughs> I'll read the comments on there, and I kill myself laughing. A little tip from Andrew Kalura, don't look at your phone while you're taking a shit. That could cause hemorrhoids because you end up you're sitting too long. Yes, in that position. I just thought it made my legs fall asleep. Yes, that's not good. And I noticed, Jay, you actually have the same head veins that I do. I think we're matching here. Yeah, see the veins in the head? Wonder what that's from. I don't know. I bet you it starts with a T. And, uh, Superior intelligence, possibly. Oh, is that what that, that is? <laughs> yeah, getting all that blood flow to the brain. <laughs> this time, anyway, it's not going to the other head right now. Yeah, tell me about it. I have a little bad, but I will redeem myself soon. Soon, when soon, when Lou gets back. I got Mike T on it, too. Mike P. Well, He's going to, he knows good. people, too. When is Lou back? He should be back this week. All right, so he can come maybe next Monday. Set it up. Yes. I'd like to hear some of Lou's stories about your dumbass. We could hear some of his stories of in the yeah. in the you know what's if he can come clean on that. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know if he'll want to talk about that. Bizarre. Yeah, well, Puts of me. it's bizarre. Uh, so Jay, if we get to training a little bit, what are your goals? So you ever plan on entering a show? I do. Um really I've just started really coming up that route the last couple of years here i guess it was a hobby at first and then now it's kind of become almost like an obsession that's good um i'll be doing a photo shoot in april just i needed something to do i get bored and i need goals and pressure then from there i'm trying to figure out which show i want to do since the big split between the two groups has been kind of infighting in canada like you read any of the facebook groups of what groups what there's people bickering between the ifbb and npc and honestly, once I kind of get a little direction, I plan from there. I'm hoping by the end of the year here to enter and go. So really from there, I just want to see where I go. I'm very goal oriented. Honestly, I get fucking bored. And if I don't have some kind of pressure, I don't know what to do with myself. I just kind of float. Yeah, I think that's great. Idle time is a devil's time, as my father always told me. It's idle time is a devil's workshop. But Brad seems to circumvent that. He's doing the devil's work <laughs> with a busy schedule. Yeah, so whatever. Hands meant work more. hard, play hard, man. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Why are you going to work your ass off and not have a good time? Depends what a good time is. That's true. Everybody's different. Yeah. <laughs> have Vera piss in your mouth. That was a good exactly, time. Exactly. There you go. You like getting shit on and pissed on. and It's been a while spanking. since you shit on. <laughs> Too long. More than a decade, if you could believe that. Yeah, Going through really. withdrawal symptoms. For 10 years, yeah. But it's... <laughs> Believe me, the first time is not pleasant, but you get to get used to it. You get used to it. It's like drinking beer. Well, why you even acquire a taste? Why even do it the first time? Just it's funny. Fly, a Haitian woman's the first one ever the first did it. Time. To me. It's funny. A Haitian woman did it. I was shocked. Yeah, I gotta ask. What makes you want to do that the first time? Well, it's with a Haitian woman. She was married. And as soon as her husband went to work, she came in my room, and I was like twenty-two at the time because. You know, there were pots when I came to Florida. You know, I got kicked out of my mother's house for beating up a couple of her boyfriends. Bad. And they called the sheriff on me. And, you know, I was sleeping in my car and ended up renting a room from a few people I work with. And they didn't run the AC. Oh, my God. It was hell. If I didn't have a fan on me, I'd be drenched. Yeah, I don't know how they live. And they're all sitting there and nobody's ever sweating. They have a fucking AC. They don't turn it on. Nobody's ever sweating. Well, they're not used to that. those doors open, I know. It's crazy. But But you're not in Haiti anymore. You got an air conditioner, turn it the fuck on. Believe me, as soon as that husband went to work, man, it was party time. And I acted real, I played real dumb. And she told me if I tell anyone, she'd she'd go when I'm sleeping, cut my dick off. (laughs) So, and I believed her. Well, yeah, that's and she'd always tell me how her husband's cheating on her, so. I so guess. it's okay that she was fucking you. Yeah, shitting on me, fucking me. Oh my god. Blowing me. Hey, whatever works. So she introduced you to the your fecal fetish. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a shitty time. So they <laughs> get started in the bathtub, and then she just sit sit on my lap facing me oh, shit between my legs always lift the seat up first fucking story I don't want to hear did it you try it yet Brad 
Of course not. Why not? I will, because I don't even want to think about it. Next girl time shit. you and your girl wake like up at the shit. same no, time, no, no, no. pick her hear, up and put her between your legs. I don't want to hear a girl fart. I don't want to know about her shitting. I don't like any of that stuff, man. I'm not. So your girl never farts, huh? Nope, never heard her fart. Was she Kim, Jun heard, Kim Jong Un? She doesn't my, have a I've rectum. I've never heard my. Everybody mother. farts, Brad. No, not around me. She knows better. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't like it. Jeez. Gross. I've never heard my mother fart either. Why you're supposed to? I don't know. You live. Is that a Freudian when slip? When you're a kid, <laughs> right? You know how do you know? You, what do you feel? You get the silent but deadly ones yeah, as a kid. Cool. I don't know. It's just not. It turns me off, man. Just blame it on the dog. <laughs> blame it on Kimbo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> maybe have, maybe Kimbo I can have shit, shit on you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Two litter boxes, a floor. <laughs> I almost threw up. What are the chances? One in 10,000, but it'll probably happen tonight. I'll show you something that these fucking sick fucks, they put you in these threads on Instagram and, and the direct messages. I think Pollard and Jay's in this shit, and Nate, <laughs> Nate after Nate, but it says, I'm out. I, I left that group after the first day. I couldn't take it. It's called Brad's Negro Farm or some shit. <laughs> they made it. It's so ridiculous. But they had, a, they had a guy shitting in his own mouth. I, and eating it. Oh, Jay Master sent me that video. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. He sent me that fuck, video through man? Facebook. And you got to deal with that? Oh, that's a nice slap I in the face. I almost threw up. I almost fucking oh, threw up. Oh, man. Yeah. I, I got nothing on that one. That's... <laughs> <laughs> you it's fucking that. gross, man. Yeah, I had to. Get, I got out of that too. It's not on here anymore. Hey, there's people that do it. Nothing shocks me anymore. Yeah, you know. Hey. Well, nothing would shock you. <laughs> yes, there are. There is. Like what? Dale Chance shitting in his own mouth. Oh my god! <laughs> you hear that? Dale? Don't give him any ideas, Dale. <laughs> Pretend it's a Snickers. Do you put? <laughs> Do it for your next bodybuilding yeah, show, Dale. Show me, fuck you. Yeah. yeah, right in the middle of your posing routine, just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he might as well do it. Didn't Jason, didn't it, what year was it that Jason went up there and looked like he shit himself? <laughs> <laughs> didn't he have a pair of uh, the underwear up there that looked like he, like he shit himself? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> A couple years ago. Well, he always looks like he pisses himself. So, <laughs> just oh, yeah, Maybe that was the show on West Palm Beach. I don't know. I just remember it looked like he turned around. Up there, That was like a meme or some shit. There saying Jason shit himself on stage. <laughs> well, he always looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> they, get, they throw him a bone. They let him compete because he's <laughs> off. It was just like you. There's no reason why you guys should be on the fucking bodybuilding stage. Where the hell else am I going to be on? Oh, Besides know. the porno stage, there you go. The evolution. He's trying to switch careers. Yo, Baccio, that's where you'll be. <laughs> we had fun the other night, Leonard. Yeah, you, you'll admit that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, your biceps look full and round, Andrew. It looks great. Lenny, you even check you, Lenny. The dance floor with all that smoke coming down. I'm loving that shit. Yeah, it was actually felt like something at the uh, cryogenics lab. It was a. But that fat black pig with the makeup twirling those, those, that fat porch monkey was disgusting. He had makeup on. He was a fat, slaw, bald headed guy. Typical porch monkey, you know, like chucking flaming spears around. He said, What else can you do? Rap? That's about it. Oh, and people were going nuts, girls. And he starts shaking his hips. Oh, it was disgusting. Why don't they get a tranny, a big one, tall black one, a 10, 10, 10, and have her do the flaming torches, and then it'd be an event. I'd be down there every week. <laughs> <laughs> Ride my bike like the one night where I plotted a bunch of old porch monkeys sitting in front of the oh. Clearview Lounge and the, lo and the chairs out front. I didn't even see them. Smashing these old men, knocking their tables over, and they didn't say jack shit. I just said, I'm sorry. They got us like running over like bowling pins just to get downtown. It's about four years ago. Yeah, I would never want to sit out there with everybody walking by and shit trying to eat. You can't do that shit. It was pretty crowded, too. Well, okay, weather like that, you'll be still sweating bullets. Yeah. It's a nice little scene down there, if that's what you're into. Yeah, yeah, Even in the daytime. Yeah, it's nice. To Taco Tuesday tomorrow, all you can eat. That's where Leonard goes now. Rocco's Tacos. Taco Is it? Tuesday, yeah. yeah. It's all you can eat. And there's many different varieties like 15, of tacos. It's 15 bucks, right? 12. It's not bad. Not 12? a bad deal. That's yeah, cheap. steak tacos. All you can yeah. eat, yeah. Yes. I mean, you can't take any home, but as long as you keep eating. 
I hate when they see you walk in. Yeah. <laughs> how do you get there? You ride your bike? Well, the young gentleman last week took me. Oh, yeah. Tell us about how that how did that go. Yeah, he pretty tra- trained intensely. He got me back on the freeway, so if I can do him tomorrow on the bench. Pretty weak, but, you know, it's a start. And he's natural, and he's young, and he's ambitious. Where was he from? He was messaging. He's from down south, Lauderdale, Pompano area. So he lives down here. And he had a girlfriend, which you know he gave up, but she was a black Puerto Rican, so similar taste in women. Nice young man. I like him a lot. Yeah, has a good good. future. He thinks for himself. That's good. Yeah, he seemed cool. That's why I gave him your number. Cool. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. You've been saying that. Unfortunately, yes. So I guess I gotta watch my cookie cutter ways because if people are noticing i gotta put a stop to it real quick <laughs> and, and having fun i gotta go back to misery yeah no no you for don't you. well it's like you've been miserable for long enough yeah but you could take it out on the weights yeah come from a fast perspective we like to kind of see you having some fun sometimes you know well again my idea of fun is you know demented well, getting pissed on right probably Hey, whatever. Whatever you find. Pissed on and jizzed on, which I didn't get the complete package, but I will. Nothing like a 10-10-10 or a a brown 10-10, like a a Reekin. It's a lot of those goods. They're just as good, if not better. (laughs) And there's plenty of them. I'm, I'm shocked at how many there are coming out of the wood. That's like I'm saying, if you go down the scene like that, you're going to run into at least three or four are trannies and you don't even know it i guarantee it now do any of them recognize you yeah i was getting a lot of looks i got a lot of looks i think the girl at planet fitness because as soon as i came in she got real excited oh you ride from boyton i said yes i do trying to impress her lying through my teeth that's the first time i lied actually <laughs> what did she think you're will <laughs> freaking will man you <laughs> see him one minute then he's gone yeah. he's so fast mm-hmm. he's all over the place yes what a different kind of guy he is stays active he's a hard I bet worker. you he had a, a rough life in Haiti I bet you he was doing manual labor and unfortunately I don't like this but he's probably the guy putting the cats in a bag and smash them on the ground and then, yeah, I don't know I wouldn't then they wouldn't eat them up that. well they have to they're for think... food I mean I don't like it but if you, you're gonna eat you gotta eat something you know yeah I've heard stories from a guy I work with from the Philippines and they would they would kill cats and dogs and eat them they would drag the dogs behind their dirt bikes on a rope until the thing just died crack its neck isn't there a more humane way to do it yeah, exactly. yeah like in china why don't you just shoot oh it goes you know I see videos right. in china guy they're takes a shovel and pets him on the head and smash another shovel and what they would do to cats is they put them in a cage and throw hot boiling water on them and it would just shock them and then they get you know they'd have to scrape all the fur off and then they'd eat them cook them and eat them yeah there's got to be a better method to that yeah, yeah. seems a little that's the, in other countries it's different man these well, it's like you go to another country, too, and, like, you know, we have the... You go to a farm here, and they've named all their goats there. They're just food, right? You know, they yeah. take care of them simply for that. Simply for that, just food. Yeah. But here, I guess, yeah, we have the luxury of pets and keeping things around. Yeah. How do you compare the food quality with America and Canada? I heard they have more quality control up there. Yeah, but you got a lot bigger portions here. You come here, and it's a lot more as well... So there's so the many price. fat assholes here. Well, the price is better too, right? We shop across the border. We're so close to the New yeah. York border, so we're always across picking up stuff, and it's far cheaper. And honestly, for the most part, it's not much different. Canada has some pretty stupid things too. Like yeah. when DMA was banned the first time, it was a long time banned in Canada. So yeah, you come across, pick some up, and bring it back. You can't get DHEA, can you? Of all things, I heard too. No, you can't. That's why I pick it up in uh, New York. You yeah. can't get DHEA in Canada. You buy it over the counter you here buy at Walmart. Right? Yeah. You buy it at GNC. You buy it at Walmart, CVS. It's, I, honestly, it's just some stupid regulation they have. But I, have I always take it, it simply because it's an essential hormone that your body stops Isn't producing. it like a precursor to a, an anabolic? Testosterone. It also be a precursor to estrogen. Correct, yeah. But it gives you energy, and it, it does a lot for your blood sugar. Well, it has effects on cortisol. and Yes. If taken wrong, I guess it can have a bit of a DHT effect, but it also helps if you're taking anything to kind of clean out I have high cortisol I have to take a pill every night because of that I forget what the fuck it's a long ass name that pill I forget what it's called phosphatidylserine so, yeah I think that's it something like that sounds right well again the fat people in this country they're big carb eaters it's that simple carbs 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 fat carbs fat sugar. fats yeah. yeah carbs with the fats well, that's why you see them on their motor scooters ripping around with buckets of uh 
fried chicken and birthday cakes. <laughs> and <all that> you <laughs> see some disgusting, you see some hot women, but some disgusting pigs down here that are beyond belief. It's, it's quite interesting. Beyond see, belief. Yeah. Creatures. I wouldn't even call them mentally and physical. Mentally, they're just as bad as they are physically. Bit of a de-evolution, I guess, if you will. Yes. Yeah. We saw a lot of oiled asses the other night. Yes. I mean, that's... They used to get lipo. Now they're getting they're getting yeah. put, put back in point, now. Yeah. Pull it to somewhere else. Any put, nice like, They want that Kardashian booty. Yeah, I don't blame them. <laughs> that's your number two, right, Kim? Kim is a tranny. <laughs> Many, there's many that look like her too. He called me one day after he took a bunch of shit. He's like, Brad, he's like, I have a new goddess. I was watching TMZ. I know it's cookie cutter, but Kim Kardashian is a goddess. I want to find a trainee that looks just like her. It's not too hard to find. <laughs> I was dying. But then again, it's 50 50 for me. You don't take a girl, but they got to have an ass. That's a prerequisite. You have to have the ass. Oh, an ass is a Trannies mess. or whatever. No, trannies just happen to have a nice ass. They happen to have the surgery. It's That's not expensive. Idea. They do the homemade jobs. That's a great idea. Yeah, so, just take a vacuum, a tube, and... Yeah. You should convert your little house into a like an ass implant clinic. <laughs> I'd love to. You already have the You'd syringes. Love to. Yeah. 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 Once you clean the motherfucker yeah, I got to make it a little more sanitary. Yeah. But. A little more? Dr. Person will put on the front door. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure people have went to clinics that aren't much different. You know what? You're places. probably oh, right. Absolutely. Especially in Miami. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Have you seen some of those botched surgery jobs? Mm -hmm. It's pretty interesting. Dentists too. There's all yeah. kinds of... Anywhere to save a buck, right? Yeah. Have you have you used those cleaning supplies yet? Not yet, oh but my God. I'll be getting around to it. When did you get them? Two weeks ago? Do you ago? even have to ask them? When Clora was here, you got them. Two fucking yeah. weeks ago, Leonard. That box is still sitting I mean, in the same sleeping, spot. eating, or watching documentaries of Anton LaVey, Joseph Stalin, all your demagogues, Louis Farrakhan. Very interesting how people start following these people. Rasputin's another one. Louis Farrakhan? Who convinced the Russian aristocracy to have orgies with him. And he was a dirty, filthy fuck. <laughs> but he sold them, and he's right. He says, you need cleansing. You need spiritual cleansing. So come sleep with me. Actually, Rasputin was actually quite the interesting character. If you get yes, they that. couldn't kill him. They tried to drown him. He was still alive. They shot him. Yeah, he got tricked. That one aristic, one uh, diplomat or whatever. I don't know. It was one of the Russian. Uh, it's part of the whatever the kingdom at the time. Had him over for dinner. I think it was the Empress's brother. Yes, I yes, think. yes. Little little. Out on my history lately and stuff, but yeah, I think it was the Empress's brother had him over. It was in his book. Yeah, and tricked him. Yeah, about it. But how he kept their her kid alive? He had hemophilia, and back then that was a death sentence. Yeah, good thing to do if you ever get blood. Tell me of hemophilia, right? As they put the needle in, uh. <laughs> just watch them just panic. <laughs> That'd be horrible. And the bruises are painful too because they just keep bleeding. You can't go out and play as a kid. It's pretty bad. Can't rub on out. You're afraid to bruise it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you so you just Google random people and things show up. Yeah. On YouTube or yeah. Okay. Especially and the Satanists, I find them quite interesting because there's two kinds. One, one, first of all, some don't believe in anything. They believe they're God, and they actually, I don't know. There's some good points to that, but then again, there's some negatives. But they think through life very carefully. They don't follow the cookie cutter, the brainwashing that we're all taught. Yeah. Kim Jong Un showing pictures that they smuggled out of North Korea. I mean, the skinny people, the skinny children with the ribs. Scary looking. I mean, I've never seen such. Infested with parasites. Yes, people s stealing grass to eat it. Many people die from eating plants. I mean, there's a definite fruit problem over there. So veganism doesn't work. No. Mm. <laughs> Speaking of your fellow countryman, Vegan Gaines, has it worked on him? He's mentally ill. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty obvious, yeah. I'm, uh, I don't know much about Vegan Gaines. The only thing I really know about him, besides when you were ripping on him, was when he had that little beef with Lee Priest, and that was quite entertaining. <laughs> I like these videos Vegan Gaines posts where he debates people, and he's a devout atheist, and it's fun to see him debate believers because as a fellow non-believer and atheist, I love listening to him use just <laughs> pure logic to 
dismantle people. I don't know. There's one thing you don't. We don't know. I, I can even say that myself as a believer. We don't know until we're dead. That's right. That's and true. There are things online of famous atheists at their deathbed with witnesses that had no interest other than you know, doctors and stuff of some of the things that were said as they were dying is pretty creepy. Like Joseph Stalin, he was raising his fist and saying there's demons. He's, there's demons all around him. And Anton LaVey, the f founder of the Church of Satan in the United States, he was screaming, oh man, I made a big mistake. Oh my God, what's, what's happening? What's happening? Are you sure they said that? Or is yes. Well, you have people uh, around people that have been around at their deathbed have heard this and spoke about it. But like, could that be much different though when somebody has some kind of say dementia or some other that's true mental but thing when they're dying? Or then again, we don't know. We don't know what that is either. So you don't know what is. If it's dementia, are they seeing demons? We don't know that. We don't know till we're dead. And we're gonna find out. But at least I got Christina to carry me away. I know that for a fact. Those demons won't touch me with Christina. She wants nothing to do with you. Well, that's her divine mission in life, the afterlife anyway. Yeah, because I'm a sinful human being. I don't blame her, but when I die, she'll be there to carry me away. And if you guys are on my <laughs> deathbed or I'm at a gym and we're doing a podcast, you hopefully hear me say, oh, Christina. If I hear you saying that, I'm going to the other room. I don't know what the, <laughs> what the sound You're feeling is. the presence, and I'm feeling the aura of you because I know you've rubbed elbows with her at some point. Just think you were probably within 10 feet of her or maybe even closer, and you don't even know it. I don't even think your heart could handle meeting her. Probably not. But then again, she'll be right there to carry me away, so, you know. <laughs> You're such a goofy fuck. I can't believe you believe that shit. You're smarter, I've than, seen you're it. smarter than that, Leonard. I've yeah. seen it. I'm too smart not to believe it. Okay. To be fair, people believe the earth is still flat, so. <laughs> That's Dale Chance. Whoever he believes, believes that should just go fuck Dale Chance suicide. has nothing to do with his life. That's why he believes He's stupid. stupid. I don't give a damn if it looks like a fucking Rubik's Cube. What the fuck's that have to do with it? I'm training. I'm eating. I'm going to get into porn. I don't give a damn what the earth looks like a fucking <laughs> banana. What's that have to do with me, Dale? What's, your, what's, what's he all hung up about what the earth is? You think Dale is a flat earther? Did I think, you say that? I, I want to be a banana. No, he, uh, awesome. he was just saying. I think he's a flat bodybuilder. <laughs> I really want a globe that looks like a banana now. Thank you for that. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. That doesn't pertain to me. I'm yeah. on it. Yeah. Let's deal with it. Yeah. You got a point. Well, what's the difference? Why what? do people debate that, yeah. really? It's meaningless bullshit. These assholes that want to go to Mars. Go and they said the moon was the made out of you, cheese. There's that nothing there. Actually, it's a fucking big red planet. <laughs> The hell do you want to go there for? You'll burn up. You want to go there? You'll burn to a crisp. Maybe it's hell. Maybe that's what it is. Good. And there's been people online that said they've been to hell. And this guy sent giant bumblebees with stingers. There's a whole bunch of people suffering, and they're trying to get over this barrier. And these the giant fuck? bumblebees are saying with stingers are stinging them in the mouth and the body, and it's going right down their throat. A big stinger. So this guy swore up and down. He saw it until they revived him. Hmm. A couple guys have said that these giant bumblebee demons. There's nothing I have seen in my life that could ever beat that. No matter what I've done, I could never top that. Well, I don't want to find out. Put it that way. No, thank you. Just like my father opened the oven door. He yeah, goes, well, you want so to do all you? the shit that you've done is totally against... Anything in the fucking Bible. So the what worst makes you, sin what is makes you think you're going. The worst sin is self righteousness, thinking that you're who that you says? don't sin. Jesus said that is the worst sin. He said, "Why did he hang out with sinners, prostitutes, tax collectors, murderers? Tax collectors. <laughs> yeah, they were considered the scum of society back then. Yeah. The, especially oh, <laughs> the Jewish tax collectors collecting on behalf of the Roman Empire." They were the real scumbags because they were back backstabbers. Jason Collect was a tax collector. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, he claims to be Christian. He goes to church every. If Sunday. Jason was a I ruler of an empire, I saw that. he'd be like Caligula. He probably hasn't seen the inside of a church in years. I don't know. He probably cleans out that collection plate. Yeah, no shit. Sure. I could see him. <laughs> that's doing true. Actually, him. he just walks. That's, in. A, good, that's, that's a fair point. He should become one of these pastors. Start a church. Pass around a collection plate. Better than T.G. Jakes, that fat porch monkey with a gold ring. 
Well, he used to almost have a religion there with uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, but I kind of... I like that. It's a good name. Yeah. Creflo Dollar, another one. Jimmy Swagger getting caught having a hooker shit on him. <laughs> Your kind of guy. <laughs> Jim Baker, I remember when they took that coward to jail, he's crying like a little baby, bawling for embezzling all that money and not paying taxes. He was in tears. Look it up online. It's like, <laughs> Religion should be taxed just like any other business. Absolutely. Period. Yes. Especially if they want any any view on politics. If they right. start influencing politics, yeah, they should pay it. taxes just yep. the same. Absolutely. It never happened, though. Unfortunately not. George Carlin had the best rants on that. Oh, yeah. He yeah. Just look him up on YouTube. George Carlin. Did you ever watch this stuff? Religion. Yeah. Priceless. Yeah. Actually, Ricky Gervais has some pretty good concepts. Never on heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I watched one of his stand-ups on Netflix the other day, and it was actually pretty good. Yeah. It was um, some good little things on there. He's quite the character. Or she, I guess, if you will. Probably. Fucking Jay. We should interrupt Dale Chance's live stream. Oh, wait, it ended. Never mind. You didn't share it? Yeah. No. Nah. I thought it was still going. There's only two he's... people watching it, so. <laughs> <laughs> his wife and his mother. <laughs> uh, have you tinkered with that at all? Try to fuck with it or no? I've answered a few fans, but there's an overwhelming amount. I just got to get to them. Yeah, it's tough. To a couple girls, up. you know. Just you... make sure they're really girls. Do You're you, talking about what, Instagram? Yeah. Do you uh, know how to look at the profile? Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. nice. Couple. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm waiting for the Christina. I made a few more comments to her. Did you? Are you following yeah. her? Yeah, but... It's not the real her, I don't think. There's a bunch of... I saw a new picture of her. At her. A lot of people were saying her wedding was staged to, to, keep, me, to keep me away. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was just God. a nice picture. <laughs> like, that's going to work. <sighs> So she's married? Well, it's, even if she is, it still doesn't change anything. Is there anything that would change that? Uh, no. No matter what. Because I know the ultimate destiny. Oh, that's pretty devout. What if she sucked off Louis Farrakhan? <laughs> <laughs> God knows what that creeps into. Boy, you ought to hear him in it. What a character. Some of his speeches on Didn't online. he used to claim that UFOs were going to come and scoop up all the Jews, take them in outer space? Oh, yeah. Something like that. The white man used to walk on all fours until recently. That's right. And they have an operation. <laughs> They're all born with tails. They cut their tail off. What the fuck? Yes. They're devils. And people follow this asshole. But he, was, he has high praise for Hitler. For whatever reason, I don't know. But then he goes... But he didn't do any, he wouldn't do anything for the black man. That's where I draw the line. And all the uh, cookie cutter porch monkeys are in the congregation. That's right. That's right. Hey man. Yeah. Hey man. Yeah. They're the intelligence. They had to build the pyramids. The you know, the white man covers up all their inventions, their contributions to mankind. The white man tears them down. Uh, the oh, white shit. men are pretty evil. And the one before him, I think Khalid Muhammad, the real dark-skinned guy, he died about in the 90s. He's very, very the worst ever. Some of the things coming out of his mouth and the speeches are online. I remember in New York City growing up, they would have the black Hebrews in Times Square. You remember that? Yes, them? I've seen yeah. they're currently still online, too. And they're very, oh, they're the worst. Yeah. They look like clowns. Yeah. Or the Hebrews. Yeah. I call them. Hebrews. <laughs> yeah, and the regular <laughs> Hebrews are devils, but they're the real ones. They're the chosen people. Yeah. Hmm. They used to terrorize people in Times Square, yelling in people's faces, standing on little makeshift stages and pedestals. Yeah. Just the, look them up on YouTube. You can watch Get some guy with size. They're not going to yell at me, you know. With big megaphones shouting everybody down. <laughs> They're allowed where's to Curtis? Oh, yeah. Where's the great Curtis Sliwa when you need him? I don't think he's in good shape. He just had surgery. He's had a bunch of operations. I have friends back home who are guardian angels. Yeah, that was a thing back yeah. then. Oh, yeah. Kids, even Pittsburgh, oh, I'll get so and so. He's a guardian angel. Kick your ass. <laughs> I heard that a lot. <laughs> Whatever with that fucking nonsense. They're stupid little fucking berets that they wore. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Shit. I think Nate used to be a guardian angel. <laughs> he used to like wearing the beret and the uniform. <laughs> he tortured him in the car ride home. It was fucking funny, man. Yeah. You want to come in, Nate? Nate, Nate wanted to drop you <laughs> off first. I'm like, no, you're dropping me off first. Fuck. He did. <laughs> yeah, he hurries up and gets his on the f- on the line with his girl, you know, in case there's a witness. <laughs> <laughs> right after he dropped me off, he called her? Yeah. <laughs> Very coincidentally, he started acting funny. Well, it was a, what is it, a six-hour time difference? What time yeah. is it over there? Well, he, they dropped me off at like 2.30, so... Holy shit, you guys were out that yeah, late? Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, I had a rough night. <laughs> <laughs> was like a zombie. He couldn't move. Oh, I was... I never seen up. him like that. No. He was like slow to react. Well, I think it was... The night before, I, I was up till 2.30 also putting together fucking Ikea furniture for the neighbor. What? Yes. Tell Branch Warren to no, do his own Branch, shit. No, her sister moved um, below us. Oh. So, oh. There goes the neighborhood. Yeah. You should have had me come over. I'll be your furniture. <laughs> I'll you be your toilet. <laughs> you should put an ad out for that. I'll let her know. <laughs> yeah. Human That's toilet. That's a good right. idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I didn't have, I got like fucking four hours of sleep that night. And then by fucking midnight Saturday night, I was shot. What are you going to do? Shit happens. Could it be like Branch Warren getting in bed early? No girls going to the gym. Mr. Clean Cut. Just so everyone knows, when Lenny says Branch Warren, he doesn't mean a real Branch Warren. Brad has a neighbor who goes to the LA Fitness in Delray, who Lenny has a borderline obsession with. Who he he actually looks like a cross between Branch Warren and the Warlord, the wrestler. He's a big fucking guy. We try to get, when we filmed that video with Andrew and Lenny at LA, LA Fitness on that Monday, we tried to get him in the video. He wouldn't do it. Yeah, he didn't want to be on camera. He's probably got a record. Most of the people that turned on requests like to have a record. But he was a bodyguard of a bunch of famous cookie cutter porch monkey rappers. So yeah. he listed them one by one. I never heard of any of them. Oh, really? Yeah. He works some kind of security now. He's got one of them cars. He's like a supervisor or something for some security company. Ooh, big man branch. Yeah, I'm impressed. Security's not a life you want to stay in for too long. Like, it really doesn't do much. How long did you do it for? Seven years. And you're lucky to come out alive getting stabbed. Honestly, it was a lot of, like, pretty decent flesh wounds, but nothing too... too How's the money, though? Good? It's pretty good, yeah. yeah. You can walk away with... Probably better than being a fucking trainer. Oh, you walk away with about 1400 bucks a night on a good night. But 1400 bucks. Oh, yeah. Well, it also pays if you take, you know, let people in on the door, too, right? Because you get tips and such. Oh. But it's... They can pay well. Skim in the door, huh, Jack? Let, ch- let all the chicks in for free. Whoever holds out the money, right? Yeah. That's oh, what I used to do. I did a wrap cookie cutter thing in 2002 in Miami. And every tan that grabbed my dick rubbed me, they got in free. <laughs> and they could see from they were doing it to the others. And all the cookie cutter guys are like all pissed off. I say, I'm going to work with you. Uh, you could do some money doing it. Being a trainer is not bad either. You do well enough, but it's a lot more stable and more enjoyable. You know, security, you can have a fun night or you can have a night that's absolute hell. And, the second one was a lot more common. Did you ever do any GHB or Molly during security? I never did, honestly. To me, that was a must. I mean, to get through the night, especially <laughs> after working all day at the hospital kitchen. I heard they got good MDMA up in Canada. I have never tried, to be honest. Um, no, you're not in that. You know what? Shit. Don't. I'm, I feel if like you never did, much. don't. <laughs> when I was it's like trannies, Jay. I'll, you know, I'll take your word for it. I did a lot of mushrooms when I was younger. And the last time I did that was uh, when the first Alice in Wonderland movie came out with Tim Burton. I had such a bad trip during that movie, I couldn't do it again. <laughs> After that, I, I, I don't know if it was the LSD or the movie. It was kind of creepy. You know, when the Mad Hatter's coming at you off the screen and you almost have to run out of the theater, it's uh, something's going on. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, uh, I, I had a few flashbacks to that later, too. And, but yeah, that's about all I ever really did. Outside of drinking quite a bit when I was younger, I've... Well, I'm, steroids obviously but uh outside of that i really don't do much you want to run through all the steroids you've tried um trend both esters of it all the various tests um deca uh shit what about the orals winstrol um halo test uh what else anabar anadrol superdrol trinabol danabol how do you compare superdrol with the others that being an over-the-counter at one point. I found it okay. Honestly, I find that orals in Canada, I guess, maybe we get some shitty ones and good ones. It would really depend on 
which bottle you got. Of course. Really, that's why it's for women too with Anavar there. If they're taking it, you got to be very cautious because half the time it's just D ball that somebody. Yeah, yeah, I've heard the stories. No like, shit. That up in Emma, she got Anadrol when she was said she was so fucking horny. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, you'd notice right away. The realization effects are pretty quick on that for a lot of women, especially because it's huh. so strong for them. But yeah, I've tried quite a few. Um, I actually opened my list. I have a list on my phone. What's your ideal stack? Test. Tren, uh, <laughs> if I'm cutting test and tren with some Winstrol, and obviously cycling through clen and cytomel through that, which are not actual steroids, but great for cutting. And then as you get leaner and leaner and weaker and weaker, you throw in some halo to it just to boost yourself back up. Because that demotiv demotivation of cutting and losing your strength is a bitch. Because you feel less and less like you want to train. Um, I found it the opposite because I enjoyed looking at my pumps and the muscles coming out pre-contest. Yeah. Once you get a pump, you look great. Yeah, but that's especially yeah. when you're cutting those carbs right down. That's yeah. It starts to get hard, I find. Yeah, especially when you can't get a pump. That's when you look horrible. I found what about GH and insulin or peptides? I found uh, peptides are pretty decent. You can get them just like here. Any research company will sell you IGF-1 or any various peptides. I liked IGF-1 LR3. I know there's some... That's what you like, the IGF-1. Yeah, I got to get some more. Yeah, I found that. I found that really after November. I did some of that. I did a good little cycle of that, three... Almost three months worth, took some time off. It'll be time to do it again when I start bulking up again. But the last order I ended up getting, I think, was, what was that? Uh, test and Trend Blend, Clen, Cytomel, Aromacin, D-Ball, Winstrel, an extra test. Uh, I got, what else? And I got some. See, Lenny, that's one of the things you can use your smartphone for. It's keep, yeah. keeping your steroids. <laughs> yeah, you get pictures that's, of it. You get. Well, that's pretty <laughs> And I got some growth hormone, too, and then halo testing right there. Did you try growth hormone before? Oh, I've done quite a bit of growth hormone. How many I use did you ever use per day for your top dosage? Um, honestly, I never went over five. I've usually stayed around four. Yeah, I've done ten. Now I'm doing six. I do three. Actually, i got to do one in a minute here and then eat a few. Eat those sandwiches a few, a few minutes later. <laughs> I haven't done any insulin or anything yet. That's the one area I haven't touched in, but... Yeah, you got to go slow because it's unpredictable. I mean, yeah, you gotta really I'm feeling the effects now a little bit because I'm on the Novlin N, which a lot of guys don't do, but I, she made a mistake. I figured I'd try it. It's, long, it's in the body longer. So I figured as long as I'm eating all day, all those carbs and protein, I get slammed into the muscle at an accelerated rate. But I honestly don't think, unless you're doing GH, you need insulin. Highly, it's only when you're doing GH you need the insulin because that hep tends to occupy the receptor site, the same one. And you can end up looking flat on GH. Go figure. Yeah. You got to combine the two. See, GH is something as long as you dose it right, you can pretty much perpetually take it. A lot of guys do, right? They go from their therapeutic dose up to their growth dose and up and down. Did you ever try DNP? Actually, I haven't. No, I don't think uh, I have. Yeah, it works really well. I mean, it's not as bad as people say. Tony is recommends a small amount, but it's only after the other things. You want to get that last bit of fat off. It's very effective, I and mean, it really almost works overnight. You can just feel that. You can see your muscles showing up, and it does raise your temperature. I've done it here in the Florida heat, riding my bike in 95-degree weather with high humidity, and that raised your temperature yeah, both ways. Yeah, you're a mess when you're on that shit. Yeah, it's... Uh, That's why you end up in the hospital. Exactly. Yeah, I think it's probably the reason why, yeah. Did you ever try the, the abortion inducer, the uh, PGCL? I have not. Man, that's pretty nasty, but you hear a lot of good things about it, but and literally, you'll tell you'll shit your brains out within 15 minutes of taking that. I mean, talk about a colon cleanse. It cleans everything out. <laughs> you break out into a cold sweat. It's a horrible feel. Why the fuck would you take it then? Because it supposedly can upgrade your receptor sites and burn fat and build a little muscle at the same time. I'd actually have to research that a little more. Yeah. yeah. That sounds but it's interesting. side effects galore. I was saying, if you shoot in your stomach, you better run to the toilet because you'll be squirting it everywhere. <laughs> I was saying that's a good thing to inject a girl with before a shit porn movie. Uh, of course. And this is why you're banned from shitting in my house, Lenny. <laughs> well, I'm not taking it now. But Poor toilet. <laughs> Porcelain Punisher. That's a good name for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy the Porcelain Punisher. I thought that was your super Where she's dressed up. Yeah, she's my super dream tranny. A lot of scenarios. Super I actually saw tranny. her new pictures of her and they are hot. She's really stacked, man. I tell you what. I'm, Where is she working out of now? I don't know. I haven't seen her anywhere, but You just said you've seen it. Yeah. I just typed in world's biggest asses and they showed a bunch of girls and she was one of them. You sure it was her? Yeah, yes, absolutely. Okay. 
I feel like that's a common search, actually, in today's age. Yes. World's yes. biggest asses. I, really I could imagine oh, yeah. seeing her up no, close that's like thing that. Now. Yeah. That's why all the women are getting the injections in their ass. Was it like 10 years ago? In the like, trannies. There's a, with those memes floating around where the woman's like, 10 years ago, does this these jeans make my ass look big and that was like a no 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 now it's, well, it's yeah, absolutely. it has to yeah, look yeah, yeah. It's true. it has yeah. to look round that muscle has to be developed to get that roundness and even the girls that they're doing the squats are still getting the, the injections because it looks good I can't I don't care how big it because as long as it's coming out the how long do you think that those injections last? I'm not sure. That's a good question, but I'm sure the body metabolizes just like with what the is it ball. they're putting in there? Well, Silicon some women will inject anything motor oil corn oil any kind of oil i think Ooh. isn't the best way to do it to inject your own body's fat you take fat from one part of your body and you inject it into your ass it's perfect well it wouldn't be any type of rejection from that right. that's for sure i suggest dale chance inject your ass just like a woman and keep the rest you that dale? see what it looks like why <laughs> i don't know so you get his name on the map he might get some sponsorship you never know Dope labs, you know, they could not come a calling. Dale, the big ass bodybuilder. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You're one sick fuck. Not enough. Not big enough. Not freaky enough. You're past your I think your you're prime. freaky enough. Yeah. Not freaky enough. You're not definitely enough. past your prime, Leonard. I'm 18 forever. There is, it's an infinite prime. Until the old ticker stops. That's a Lou off. He always said, watch your ticker, Lenny. Watch your ticker. He's and right. He's right, yeah. Just find yourself a homeless person with the same blood type. There you go. <laughs> 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 yeah, that bum with all that garbage up there, that porch monkey. I'm sick of seeing him. Got this shopping cart overloaded with stuff. It looks like a damn So house. what? You don't have to push it around. He's, he's got three fuck. layers of clothing. He looks like the Michelin man. It's 80, <laughs> 90 degrees out. And he's standing there. It's like, go in the fucking ghetto. You're coming up here because you're getting money from the cookie cutter whites and it's mm. safe up here. Get your ass down there and see what they do That's to the you. bus stop right next to the old world gym, right? He's everywhere. He's on all the, all the damn corners. On Every fucking day I see him with his canned goods, you know, eating cold canned food. With his layers of clothing. I mean, give it up, pal. I don't know what you're trying to prove. What do you think he's going to do? Where, he has nowhere to go. That's all I'm going to... One day I'll wake up and... If you were a bum, would you go where you... He'll have that fucking card on my fucking... Next to my weights there's, out there one day. Fucking, that'll be over. There's a woman that's camped out by my route on federal... That black woman? Yeah, she's... She's a fucking phony. On She has like a tarp. Right yeah. there, a stop sign, right on Federal Highway, and all her shit is out there. And she She's sleeps like, all, all fucking day. Every that was day. funny. I went to LA they Fitness get, on my bike leave. last year. Oh yeah, and I'll I drove up to her. She's in there sleeping. It's ninety degrees. Oh yeah. And I looked at her, and she she wasn't actually she wasn't that bad looking for a street person. I said, Hey, oh my god, would you like a foot massage? <laughs> no, <laughs> she you, says, No, you. She didn't. says, No, thank you. That yeah, it's disgusting, Leonard. No, she's not that bad. That okay. is the greatest pickup line ever. <laughs> One day I was driving by, there was a guy that stopped and was giving her, like, Dunkin' Donuts coffee and shit. Yeah. What'd you give her, Brad? Nothing. I don't give bum shit. <laughs> a foot massage? <laughs> <laughs> Brad rubbed her foot on his beard. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that silky smooth beard. <laughs> I'm not a sick fuck like you. Get in that tarp with her, Brad, and give her the time of your life. All right, perfect. That's just what I'll do. They should turn the old world gym into a homeless shelter. Yeah, no shit. Two years later, still just sitting there empty. It's I talked shame. to Alexandra. She's t trying to talk the owner of Busy Bodies into getting that gym. She says yeah, he's close. That'll never happen. We, we, he would be the good. He would be the perfect. Didn't guy we to talk to him about it? it? He's he's slowly, slowly thinking about it. But between Planet Fitness being across the street. He's, and he's LA Fitness in Delray. I, it, you could charge more because it has the kind of equipment and atmosphere people want. Yeah, if you a lot of those a lot of those Planet Fitness guys that go to Planet Fitness will go back over there for mm -hmm. sure. If they, that place is a joke. I mean, I, and a fight almost crazy. interrupted. They won't even order ten more forty-five pound plates. I squatted on my patio. I, thanks to Jay Masters equipment, got on the bike, went over to the leg press. The machine holds nine on each side. It's a good machine. It gives enough resistance. That leg press is I was there. fucking, I almost punched the guy out because he kept going over taking my way and I took his. And I, you know, I said, well, you want to, like I said in the day, you want, well, there's only one solution to this. We'll have to fight over it. And he looked at me because I'll pass. And I says, well, I says, anytime you want to go. 
You should just not fight over the weights. It's definitely not a lifter's gym. It's Honestly, just, you should just knock him out and put him on top and add more weight. There you go. Make him sit up there. I prefer to have a woman. Like Andrew Kalura had a girl come on there one time, and I forget he said something dirty to her, and she got pissed. I guess he saw her camel till he made a few comments. <laughs> so, Jay, have you ever hit on a girl at a gym? Yes. Uh, I, I hesitate to answer that because I do work in a gym, but not any time recently. But, yes, I have. How'd it go? Very well. Oh, good for you. He's a trainer. Trainers get all the pussy. <laughs> That's why they're trainers. Before he was a trainer, Brad. Before? Uh, Don't worry, your girlfriend's not going to listen to this. I want to ask you, it's a very important We've question. We've been on here for over an hour. She Do you look at porn, Jay, or have you looked at porn hour. as a kid? I've looked at porn, yeah. What's your recently. favorite site, your favorite fetish? There you go. Jeez, uh, I, I'm an ass man, 100%. Me too. Um, I really haven't looked in a while, so I, I understand the only thing the people reference now is what Pornhub, but I... I think you're referencing my video on Pornhub. That's a Freudian slip. Oh, well, there we go. I'm busted. Did you watch his video? I didn't. No. Uh, honestly, I only heard like hinting of it until you guys mentioned it earlier today, and I, yeah, I just I don't think I could do it, man. I don't think I could watch it. Oh well, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> how about you guys? How about I give you guys a private screening in my bedroom right now on my Ooh. computer? I'll, I'll leave you in there and close the door. <laughs> And Brad will monitor the, the hard-on monitors. That's what I want somebody to invent, a hard-on monitor. So when somebody starts talking about trannies, it's like a lie detector test. But it sees if it's starting to get wood, which I believe Brad has on many occasions. And Nate was doing the same thing. I took my new phone out. I start showing tranny porn. Nate starts flipping out in the car. I don't want to see this. Turn it off. I, I mean, what is your problem? Because you're getting turned on by it, and it's making you disgusted. It's all you torture him Brad all the does, back, Brad does the same thing. <laughs> No, I don't. He goes, get your hands off hey. me, Nate. I go like this, doing the spider on it. I go, there's a spider on your back. Get your hands off me. I'm driving. <laughs> you didn't want to give him a foot massage? <laughs> he said, he, man, it's funny. You get him going, man. You make him legitimately feel Then Nate says, wait. Funny. What are we talking about? <laughs> he's brilliant in some ways. I think he's an idiot savant like the Rain Man. We'll call him the Pinworm Man. <laughs> Where somebody, you make a new Rain Man movie, but you got Nate and other things. He's so, so ignorant. He seems like quite the character. I do enjoy your guys' interactions together. It is quite entertaining. He is. He is a character. Andrew Kalora said that he was disappointed he didn't meet him too because he wanted to go on a pizza eating challenge. But, and he went to a lifting challenge with Jay and both those guys chickened out. I don't know. Where was Nate that weekend? I don't remember. I think he was in town. I don't know. I think. Andrew never said anything to you. Well, Andrew said he wants to come back down. We would have contacted him. He wants to come back down, he told so me. So then set it up for the When did you talk to him? Last night. When I saw that contest. He's going to come back for the ruby. Or yeah, that was the eighth year anniversary of his brother getting killed. Mm -hmm. So That's such a fucked up story. And it's weird because I never. He didn't tell the story no. on the podcast. Yeah. No, it's just, it shouldn't have happened. You know, I mean, two bouncers getting real rough with you. Well, they stick. She put him in a chokehold and crushed his fucking yeah, trachea, he right. said. And then just dumped his body. Yeah, and got away with it. Yeah. Huh. Yes, they did. That's, yeah. It's fucked up. It is. What the hell do you say to that? No. I don't know. He had two little kids, too, right? Two yes, daughters. he did. A good job. He had the Mercedes-Benz factory that some of his high school buddies he went to down here got him a job up there. It's awful, man. I've never met his other brother. I never met him. The one that got killed? Or the yeah, I know. I never met him. Well, you should come back down here before the Ruby. So, Jay, you want to go over some of your training lifts? Sure. What are you benching for reps now at your best? Oh, when I'm not cutting down, I can get 315 pretty easy. I, I spotted him today. He did 315 for four this morning. Good. Uh, usually yeah. I can get a little more than that, but no. What's your best down. lift? Best lift? Um, On uh, all any of them? Like, most of our squatted was 650. Whoa. And uh, honestly, I went to go do it again. And I was on a pretty shitty rack. The bar was bending as they tend to do it that late. And I uh, couldn't quite get it up myself. I almost tweaked my back and it kind of put me back a bit. I haven't went over five plates in a while, but I'm not lifting for strength anymore. I like to 
I'm more focused on size rather than strength, but I don't the two go hand in hand. I was just gonna say, uh, it's it, amount, a certain amount of reps. Yeah, it really depends what philosophy you follow too. If you listen to like Ben Pakalski and his methods, it's not all about that, right? Like changing the way you bench and stuff, putting more focus on the muscle and like you know insertion origin and everything. I else. think lifting's the third tier. I think it's nutrition, androgens, and then your training. See, I find my what I've fallen into now, and it's been doing my heaviest lifts right off the bat and then going downward to more of the higher reps hypertrophy style volume after because I find at least now when I'm utilizing the carbs in the beginning of my workout I can yeah. get the heavier lifts out and then as I deflate and tire out I can keep the volume going at least keep somewhat of a pump up but uh -huh. do you use a pre-workout yes you care to divulge the brand I've been honestly using dust extreme I've had, by Blackstone yep oh okay yeah I found it worked a plug well. for PJ <laughs> unsolicited yeah no I've, I've liked their products for the most part from what I could get I was with pro Supps for a while using hide and I didn't really like the way they went a lot more of their proprietary blends and everything else and they kind of went that I guess you call it the cookie cutter route yeah or the candy flavors and stuff saving money yeah but I don't know I um honestly through you, your guys' videos I actually got into the Blackstone stuff and what else? just don't be like Dale say you use Blackstone and then go begging for a sponsorship <laughs> <laughs> and then having the owner say I don't give a shit about Dale Chance that's pretty bad I feel bad for him on that regard yeah I did feel as you can bad. see I'm wearing my sponsorship t-shirt with pride new world nutrition great liver cleaners excellent proteins I yeah how it. is that actually um the, the liver cleaners the proteins are great they're a unique flavor it's not overly sweet mix it with oats you got a meal that hmm. you gave me that protein yeah powder, right yeah. you can't even taste it, it has yeah i like that kind of i like the over overly yeah. sweets well primarily pre-workout diet wise i was using i still have like a few containers of it left because i stocked up on the reband dma i have dust extreme and then i have hype extreme i like to mix them together what else so you're not doing two servings are you at once i have yeah i have two and that's i think got me into heart <laughs> arrhythmia Hey, that stuff's strong and you get the caffeine and the other ingredients in there oh yeah it's a good kick yeah i'm just sticking to one serving even at my body weight and it's doing okay but my heart like i said it's not 100 percent functioning but i think it'll get slowly yeah, stronger he's having those fucking episodes again yeah not as bad but you know just you get so tired out since and you when know something. when do they start well I've, I've never stopped since last year you know they've good they were worse obviously the second time i was hospitalized they were so horrible but this still it's just a matter of the heart needing to strengthen and i do you know kind of getting off this blood thinner i'm tapering down i got 15 milligrams of relatives now versus a 20 i want to get off of that because if i thin my blood i'll go give i'll go give blood but i kind of think they're holding me back a little bit i don't know they're keeping you alive i don't think so you don't think so there's a lot of doctors online that tell the blood pressure medications it's not necessary there's other things you could do but there are medications i've saw online say you don't really don't want to go off there's but 10 you're, of them. but you're gonna go them. off anyway. no i'm not on it yeah medication's kind of a slippery slope right depending on who you read and what you read yeah i think it's all mental to your body doctor but don't go off don't go off and i like to say fuck you i'm going off and honestly it depends on the doctor too right yeah like some doctors have that old school philosophy of everything is prescription that's prescription that even if you don't need it right yes like i had um i had an inguinal hernia surgery when i was 19 and they gave me like five different things for painkillers i took none of them just the whatever they gave me for the antibiotic and that was it i didn't need hydromorphine and all this other shit just for feeling stiff and like with a lot of that stuff they over prescribe yeah i got shit when i get my wisdom teeth pulled all that shit pre Percocet, I do not like that shit, man. Oh, I honestly, yeah. They make um, me fucking dizzy. It's, it's just too, it's too much. Look at, look at him. There he goes. Oh, nice. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't like seeing it? <laughs> Yuck. Thank you're gonna re, you're not gonna reuse that, are you? Yeah. One more time. I use three or four. What is that? Your GH? Yeah. Three yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just what? like that, Andrew. Yeah. That's in and out. <laughs> Look at my skin. That's why I said damn young looking. It works for that. The fountain of youth. Yeah. The collagen. I was getting like, I got gray hairs pretty early. Not that you can tell now that I'm bald, but when I had hair, 
um, I got gray hairs pretty early, and taking that for a while, I found they all went back to black. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. No shit. Yeah. I was, yeah, I took it for a rotator cuff injury. Well, it's not working for you. You're going real gray yeah. now. You're almost all gray. I see Andrew Kaloris was gray in his little video he made driving his car the other day. He's shown a lot of you gray. got a few strands. Yeah. Yeah, yours has got real gray in the last year, actually, now that I'm looking at you like that. Hey, if I shave, I'll look young as hell, so I may just shave this summer. Who knows? Gets hot. Yeah. Shave the body. Yeah, no, I'm... Well, the, of course. Yeah. Body hair is overrated. Come on. It's useless. It's a pain in the ass to shave your whole body, though. Not really. You get used to it. it. You mean not really? those big wands that I have, then you got to take the razor in the shower. It, where the hell did you... Like, I know you got that at Target, but I looked for one of those ones for, like, back shaving and shit because I got gorilla back syndrome. It should, if you're able to be flexible enough, it should reach it. They have them at Target. You couldn't find them. I can't reach my fucking back. I'm able to reach my back. Yeah, they have a button where you press it out and it extends its long... You know, like a back scratcher. About as long as Lucy's dick. Oh, <laughs> God. Did you measure them side by side? No, but I will. When is Lucy coming back to South Florida? I don't know, but she come back. You're not keeping eat? track. Well, I'm sure she. Don't they be. say when they're going to be at certain places? I haven't seen her in any state. Oh. I do believe she originated from Texas, but you might have a shot with her, Christina. No way. Well, it's my shot it's just to give Christina a hug and a kiss. She doesn't. Want That's nothing all. To do with you, Leonard. Yeah, she does. Mm. Now, could you imagine the views on that video, though? Yeah, imagine them coming at the same time. Then it'd be fucked. What would you rather, Lenny? A night, a passionate night with Lucy where anything goes? Or name your favorite bodybuilding show and you winning first place at that show? Which would it be? Oh, Lucy, hands down. But if you were to say, <laughs> you were to say one second, meaning Christina, I'd go for that. Well, we know that. That's hands why he didn't down. say that. It's a given. We know right. Christina comes before Christi any fucking Christina thing. Christina comes before breathing oxygen. Lucy wins the bodybuilding show. That's Women a body right come there. First. If Christina said get off all the shit and get healthy, you would do it. Yeah. Yeah. I would. Mm -mm. There was some hesitance there. Uh -huh. But I am healthy your face. on it, so. But if you I were going for health, I wouldn't take so much, and I wouldn't take the orals. And I wouldn't take the insulin. I would take a lot less growth. So why don't you try that? Yeah, shrink, you'll that shrink up to nothing. No, to you'll still be pounds. big. No way, man. You still be two hundred eighty pounds is still pretty fucking big. Yeah, right? not in my book. <laughs> is that what this you little fucking stick figure that has the, the, the irre irreverence to challenge me? This little fucking dick. What do you think I'm gonna do to you, little faggot? Well, he says you're the faggot. I want my five grand. Get out! Tell your fucking mommy and daddy to better get that money out. <laughs> Because you're going to need another five grand to put you in a crematorium, what's left of you. you Con his name is Connor Dooley. Connor, okay. Any kid that names their Connor is a libtard parent. Connor the Dreamer. Big Harry Potter fan as a youth. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Go to Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Hey, you know that. You must be a closet fan. I saw it one time. I, that was the most ridiculous thing. You know, you want to see what all the hype's about. It's actually a fun ride at... Um I think it's Islands of Adventure universally have those that ride. I think it'd be a fun ride on Lucy's lap, <laughs> getting pegged. That's a fun ride in my book. You can you can stick with the little, I don't know what. <laughs> what do you do, ride around? Oh, just like with your Star Wars lightsaber, carrying <laughs> on. <laughs> Never happened. <laughs> Going to the South Florida Fair as a youth and carrying on. You still, yeah, I haven't been there I since I was a teenager. It. Yeah, a teenager. Jeez, I, you you would have you would like to go there, especially on because it's usually here during MLK Day and all the blacks get in for free. You have a fucking field day down. Yeah, there. if I got a melanotan, I'll get in free too. Yeah, exactly. Really? Yes. If more free. So stuff, everyone else gets charged. Yeah, that's fucking no. Strange. I'm pretty sure, man. I don't think that can be right. ML, what the fuck did he do anyway? <laughs> Who the fuck would honor that shit? MLK go. Day. So you're going to pay double to pay up for that scam and how they've been killing the economy, taking a day off for that creep. <laughs> I'm triggered. I'm surprised you don't have people putting black shoe polish on themselves trying to get in for free yeah, if no that's shit. the case. That's 
I think that one might have to be fact checked. I don't know about that. Can we get I heard Jason to do that? Almost positive. Like, I heard polish that. like something free. Like you would do it, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, he would. <laughs> Jason oh, definitely yeah. would. Tell him to be good views. Like, come on. Yeah, that that um, tanning shit that they spread on himself. Jason that one would time. burn down an orphanage if he thought it would get views. <laughs> kind of surprised he hasn't already. Yeah, no shit. Oh. So what do you what do they teach you about Martin Luther King and all that stuff in Canada? Growing up, just the basics. Who he was, what he did, and all that. What did he do? What did they tell you? He did honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> Could have, couldn't have been that good. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't go to school that much. I tend to skip a lot. They, so did they didn't tell you he freed the slaves. I <laughs> mean, he didn't. <laughs> no, they, they didn't. They didn't teach that much. No. So when you skip school, Jay, what did you do? Your parents went to work. I take it. So yeah, I would. Uh, and go, you snuck back in the house. I did, and I would go back to sleep sometimes, or I would um, make eggs. I was just that cool. I would go home and make scrambled eggs, and then take a nap. More beneficial than going to school. You at least get some protein, healthy fats. <laughs> did your parents ever come home by surprise? You're like, oh shit. Oh yeah. Actually, by the time I was. 14 or 15 I sounded just like my dad on the phone so I'd always call myself in sick too <laughs> you got to the point where if I was actually sick you'd be just, just call yourself in I know you do it already and I was pretty close to suspension and <laughs> yeah I used to sign his name on uh, excuses but they didn't call the house back then this was the 80s but oh. yeah I used to sign his name and oh my god yeah I had a copy of both their signatures and I would just trace it I'd jerk off to Flex Magazine Carla Dunlap Corey Everson Rachel McLish <laughs> I didn't have fun. Busting out <laughs> Elmer's glue many times during the day. Eight times a day. Those were the days. Eight times a day, Leonard? Yes. Jesus. I'm lucky I could do it eight times a fucking year. Wow. Ah, oh, man. Oh, nothing wrong with a healthy sex drive. <laughs> Is that a Freudian slip? <laughs> I, I, I can't. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I ever went eight times a day. I can't remember. I did. Well, they say masturbation affects your memory, right? <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest. Yeah. I got nothing to hide. Well, do a training point video. <laughs> it will be the ultimate test. My tests. God, you're always trying to recruit people to do that shit. What's wrong with you, man? <sighs> you think everybody is into that. Why? Why? Every red-blooded man is <laughs> alpha male. Red-blooded? What other blood is there? porch monkey blood. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I, I could tell. <laughs> He's such a fucking it's asshole. different. Would you accept it, Brad, in a transfusion if you needed it? Yeah, I don't give a shit. Some of those fat, diabetic, insulin-resistant pigs that you work with, oh, you're going to pump their your blood to your veins? <sighs> they're, they're freaking sickle cell anemia. You just, I, I don't, don't even know say. what to say. Yeah, yeah, what the you, hell do you say to that? <laughs> they're not going to give you that kind of blood. They're going to give you clean blood. Don't they test it before they give it to you? You work in a hospital, you know. No, they don't. <laughs> you got porch monkeys working at the hospital. You're going to trust them with your life? Just another dead cracker. Roll them out to the morgue. <laughs> a white devil. White devil. Check the organ donor card first. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll donate my genitals to jail chance. It'll be an upgrade. Oh, what do you think about that, Dale? <laughs> <laughs> an upgrade. You're fucking empty balloon fucking nuts. In Dale's case, yes, an upgrade. <laughs> Oh, his ears must burn. Something fierce on Monday. <laughs> oh, yeah, he knows. <laughs> Dale's aware. <laughs> I love your guys' relationship. Like, it's it's so interesting. It's such a... Unique... Yeah, he's supposed to come down and visit. Where is he? Recovering. He talks out of both sides of his mouth. He can't go anywhere. He took so much time off work. He's not going... Where the fuck's he going now? Well, you can't sit at a desk, Dale, and type on your computer? In your climate-controlled Just... office? I don't even know what the fuck he does. He's told me. I can't fucking remember. <laughs> well, that must not be that impressive if you can't remember. Well, look at the pictures of that car, though. Holy shit, was he lucky. Yeah. Yes, he was. How fast did he say he was going? 45? Yeah. Was it not the story Double he that. tried to get us to believe? He's doing 90. <laughs> you don't do that to a car going 45. 
Well, no, he was going 45 until he downshifted no, that, into third, and that, then he accelerated that's the to probably story. 80. That's the story he gave you. Eh, who knows? He was able to remember, I guess. Yeah. He drives fucking fast. Oh, he, I know. So it's about past the 45-minute mark. Can you give Andrew Kalura a call? He's expecting one. Is he? Yeah, call give him a call. I have to do on the other phone, though, right? Um, but he might not recognize the number. Let's see how this comes out. I told him, you know, we're going to call him. It's supposed to be at 45 minutes when Kimbo comes out. He did. He's out. Yeah. Just saw him. Kimbo he is out. He must have heard it. He's going to try to do his fucking cat calls over the phone now. Yeah, there he is. Hang on. The cat whisperer. He's out of work? It's 8.48. Where, he works in a nutritionist. I think this place closes at 7 or 9. Okay. Hello? Andrew? Yeah? You're on the podcast. What's up? Who do I be breathing like that? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you Damn, think? Who be breathing like that? <laughs> I thought that was Mother Speaks. No, it's when I was on the phone at work years ago, and I was listening to some black kids at church because I guess somebody called sick. And I would, I didn't, they didn't hang up the phone, so I was listening in, and all of a sudden they're talking about smoking weed after after church. And one of them said, hey, wait, be quiet. So who be breathing like that? I guess they heard, they heard me breathing heavy. And I'm like, the, the thing's like right here, you know? So they heard that breathing, so I guess I can, you know. Well, you can hear it on the podcast too when you're sitting there not talking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess that's what it needs to be turned to. The breathing. So we have Jay from Canada here, big fan. Who's there? Jay from Canada, big fan. Jay from Canada? Yeah, me. You say Nate, is that a Freudian slip? Never heard of her. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most common thing said. Never heard of her. It's so, definitely So what's how's, what's going on up there? When's the next you've been I, we like the fact you're pumping out a lot of product, a lot of content. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. I'll uh footage you gotta do a gym video up there a gym video yeah i mean it's, I, i'd have to get somebody to, to film it for me i don't that gym looked pretty empty it's a nice gym yeah that gold's pretty nice there's three in the area i can go to uh must be nice yeah, usually pretty empty on the weekend there's no golds around here none more none well even most ones in canada were bought out yeah yeah i don't even know if there's golds in florida anymore there are of what they were charging for Jay Masters was just uh, messaging me on uh, Instagram. He said, when I go back on, I need to steer clear of drugs that are going to get me bloated, like D-ball, Anadrol. He said, just do a stack of EQ and Anavar. He said, I'll put on slabs of muscle. <laughs> Lean muscle. Does he have a thing for Anavar? Uh, Jay, Jay was trying to talk me into doing a cycle of Anavar. Jay's like the steroid matchmaker. He likes to try to like match people up with the PED. He thinks they'd be most. Sounds to me like he doesn't want anyone getting close to him in size or strength, Andrew. That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. <laughs> Take fucking out of our shit. Just do an out of our only cycle. Yeah, and then so he could go out, bench you, and mock you. Yeah, you're not a woman. That's uh, Anavar's for women, isn't well, it? The, yeah, well, you can take it, but uh, for men, it's a lot higher dosage to be effective. The cost is just not really worth it. Yeah, like maybe closer to contest for vascularity, but even then, it's still. I guess it depends what you get it for. Canada, it's expensive. So, what's expensive? Still, like for um, yeah. look at my price list here. Hold on, because I have price a, list. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> Wait, is this legal up there? No, but it's uh, commonly traded, so let me take a look at my list. Um, Do you have a good connection up there, Andrew, for that shit, or what? All right. Yeah, I do. Good. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm going to see the guy tomorrow because uh, my parents over their house are going to give me a, their old couch that folds out into a bed, so he's going to help me move my old one out of here. Yeah, last time I spoke to him, um, he's got pretty good prices, uh, you know, all the basics. So you're taking on a tenant, I guess, with a couch pull-out bed? What's that? Is that for the cats, or are you taking on a tenant? I, I can't hear you. He wants to know if, if the pull-out bed is for your cats, or are you taking in a tenant, like a housemate? Who knows if I ever have a visitor. 
But uh, when Bootsy throws me out of my bed, like she's been doing, she likes sleeping in there. I can fold out there and sleep. When Bootsy like, attacks you? Know, you? My bedroom. Huh? Bootsy attacks you? Yeah, she likes my bed. It's still because it's been cool here. It's like 40 degrees, so I got a yeah, comforter in my bed. She loves it. She'll sleep in there all day in the wintertime. Huh. So she'll, she'll let me sleep, but as soon as the sun comes up, she's in there like jumping on the bed yeah, wants me out of there. Standard. So she's the only cat allowed inside. The other ones stay outside. Good. Everything yeah, they stay out. I tried bringing a kitten in last year, but really? Boothy's oh, got inflammatory bowel disease. You got all worked up and started vomiting. Online? Jeez. A friend of mine yeah, from Calgary. Yeah. Uh, Jay, I see you have a cat on your phone. I have dogs, actually. I thought that was a cat. No, I have my Roddy and my German Shepherd on there. Aww. A couple of my... Hold on. Cute. My babies. Oh. I know, right? I'm that guy. <laughs> that was a big night out, Brad. What's that? That was a big night out Saturday. We had fun, man. <clears throat> next time you're here, we'll go out. You need to get your we'll fucking back back page when next time you're here. Le Leonard actually drank. It was a shock. <laughs> yeah, it really didn't hit me that hard. I, I'm more, more of a tough guy now. You know, I can hold my alcohol. I feel so proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't, uh, did you sniff around for some of the, the devil oh, juice? Cute. See if anybody has it there? Mm. We're, no, we're working on it. I don't see what the problem is. It's nobody but nobody, you know? Yeah, I think it would be readily available still in South Florida. It's surprising. I know. Well, then it might be a good thing. I could get taken out on my bike again. God knows what will happen. You know, pass out in Miller Street. Hey, I notice on... There's a black female truck driver that posts videos online. She's pretty hot. I wonder if Jay knows her. They saw her sleeping in the cab wearing a thong. Oh, look at his coat. He's very healthy. Was she on YouTube or Instagram? Yeah, yeah. She makes a lot of money. She's pretty hot. Kind of ghetto, but still. Mm -hmm. A black truck yeah, driver. Yeah, Lou sent me a picture just a little while ago, a text message. He said, this one's for Lenny. It's like a side-by-side oh. side comparison of a black crack whore. Or no, a crack a dude that turns into a tranny. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, uh, you got to be careful. Some of the crack addicts, over Instagram. they're not gay. They just want that money. They'll rob and, you know, so suck dick for the crack. I kind of think Nate did that back in Vegas. He's not coming clean. <laughs> Yeah, they don't call him training. He even said he'd do anything for meth. So who's to say he didn't dress up? <laughs> well, I don't know about that, man. Yeah. Well, you never know. Right. You never know. You guys got to have John Durante on, uh, Andrew. He, uh, yeah, right. bring him on. He, he it could be interesting. Be on yeah. uh, when the one Jason used to call the Vietnamese guy. Yeah, yeah. For years. He's a Filipino bodybuilder. He went pretty high on the ladder. He knows us from way back when. He'll come on? Okay. Yeah, he's. he should be interesting. Who, you know how to get in touch with him? Actually, he's I the can. one. You can? I don't want to say it on the yeah. air, but he's... He, uh, uh, you know, that's the condition. Hey, Andrew, like just, it. Between me, just between us, the condition to get him on is, you know what it is, to get some more of that other stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, he was always the one to get it. So. <laughs> <laughs> just, be just between us, yeah, fucking and millions of maniacs le worldwide. I don't know about millions, but they'll sure. be dragging his ass to. <laughs> yeah, real nice asshole. There'll be a SWAT team tonight dragging his little midget ass up. That's great, fucking incriminating people. <laughs> you stupid. Do fuck. I have to edit that part out. <laughs> There's no editing, unfortunately. No editing. <laughs> Nothing gets edited. <laughs> So what are you posting now? Where are the stray cats at? You were getting a little Genova the other day. What were you in the, like those, uh, in the sauna? A little flex. In there. <laughs> <laughs> right out of page, right out of Jason's book. But you got to start misnaming muscle groups. <laughs> yeah, but much harder than. Jason. Yeah, but at least yeah, at least you can you could pull it off. He just you know. Yeah, that Southern says I want to thank Andrew for putting it up. Boy, you look freaky. That massive. That chest. The funny thing is, most of the comments was like negative, saying how bad we look, but little did yeah, we know did. That just 16, 
16 weeks prior, Lenny was 440 and I was 340, so I'd say that's a, a pretty good amount of progress in 16 weeks. No yeah. shit. Rip the fat off. How, how, what was your size in that show? How much you guys weigh? 290. Lenny was, Lenny was what, 295 for that show? Something like that. Jesus. Yeah. You That's lost a, 100. Holy shit. Lenny, how'd you get all those stretch marks in your lower abs? What's that from? My belly growing. Okay. Stretching the skin. <laughs> giggling over there. <laughs> how, old were you, how old were you when you first got those? Am I early 20s I put on a lot of weight the natural way I started off taking Anadrol gained a lot of weight then I actually make more gains clean of course I was 19 years old I blew up like crazy eating I followed the Tony Mandrich diet and you did too that's how you got big maybe Jay ought to do that he'd get back up to 330 and then cut down from there I think that's one way to do it it works Lee Priest has done it you gotta go overboard yeah, Lee Priest is no. <laughs> He's already 340. <laughs> What's he going to get up to 450? He would. He could easily. Oh, yeah. So is Vince Goodwin going to come down and do the Ruby? Who's that? <laughs> Never heard of her. Oh, that that's the... Uh, oh, yeah, you know who that is, right? Yeah. Al, that's, 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 it. that's the uh, a Sherman Clump lookalike. No, I think he Oh, looked. I saw that the black guy. Yeah. Oh, he's pathetic. <laughs> Genova's better than him. I told Jay he looks like a cross between Michael Strahan and Al Roker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, he's, Michael Strahan. That's the one of the worst I've he, ever he's seen. Everywhere that guy. Why is he on all these? And they talk shows? about black porch monkey genetics. Boy, he was left out of that equation. I'm sure he's got a porch monkey brain though. Who's that? Which one? <laughs> And did you see this 110 pounder challenging me to a fight, putting up five grand? 6'2, 170. Says, if I last a minute with him, he's going to pay me five grand. And he'll rent the Let's ring Let's do out it right ring. now. He'll rent the ring out of Busybody. He said a kickboxing match. That's even worse. I'll kick the fucking dick out of him. He'll definitely go for his <laughs> where, dick. We know that. What was the challenge at? He direct messaged me on Instagram. <laughs> You want to respond to him, Lenny? I'll, s I'll send him a yeah. I'll send him a video. <laughs> uh, you ready? Go ahead. Yes, sir. I accept your challenge. I know I'm very fearful of you, and I know I'm going to lose, but I think I'll last a minute. Go easy on me. <laughs> Cash, money, money. <laughs> <laughs> that was weak. <laughs> Yeah. I know that was. I wasn't well, expecting that's that. Well, yeah. that's called a psychological. I'm, I'm going to see him get all pumped up and proud and come out kicking and swinging, and I'm going to show the people what his kicks can do to me. To be fair, seeing that. I just may get a hard on. You never know, at worst. Oh, God. Well, you do kind of like God that. God help him if you get him on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. He, this guy said a kickboxing match. God, we got to figure out what the parameters are. Does anybody remember that episode yeah, of The Simpsons where Homer gets into boxing and just keeps video. taking the hits till people fall down? Yeah. Video. He said he doesn't have an Instagram account. He messaged me back on YouTube, so. Who's that? Oh, the guy on YouTube. If you want to give him my email address, feel free to. That's fine. I have no problem with that. Yeah, that's why I, don't I really don't. I really don't think if I was to convert it, it would come out looking that much better than it did. I, it actually it, it translated a lot better than I thought it would filming the TV screen. I didn't think it was going to look as good as it did. Yeah. But you, you can give my email address. If he wants to send a, a converter kit, that's fine. It should be easy to do. Yeah. Was there more to that video than just that? It, it's, it's over two hours long, but that's the only part with Lenny and Andrew. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so fuck that. The show, Lenny, where the guy said after your posing routine, love is in the air. <laughs> yeah. Was that on there? I don't, I don't think I heard that on there, no. That's okay. That guy was a fucking moron. The sound would have been better <laughs> if, 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 I, if I converted And they it. said my song was racist. Yeah, yeah. I can write that song. <laughs> His song tricked me at first. I'm like, what in the fuck is that? And then it, he switched it. Yeah, all the porch monkeys you... would pose to that song, like the Sean Rays and the Joe Carlton types. Oh, uh, is that what? Yeah. That was funny. Is he, you going to compete in the Ruby, Andrew, or what? When is it? September? Yeah, you'll definitely... Be, you won't be last, I'll tell you that. We know he'll be last. 
You have plenty of time. Yeah, six months. Right. He's uh, going to be healed up in time for that. Six months? Yeah, I got to start dining June 1st. As he pulls out his, his three fucking <laughs> BLTs. Those are small, anyway. I kind of like to do the southern states again, but uh, I don't have enough time to prep for it. No, you long. can't do the southerns. You heard what the cookie cutter said, Andy Schwartz. Yeah, I remember There's that. guys with 80 inch arms in there. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're going to come in last place. Fuck How you. dare you do that prestigious show? That's what we were told. <laughs> How yeah, dare you? What, are, what are those people going to think about you? Who's Andy Schwartz? Some Jason knows him. Uh, some fucking drug. Some drug? <laughs> some drug bag. Uh, all right, so what else? Talk to us. What, are you just falling asleep on the phone or what? <laughs> He's feeding, feeding the cats. Oh. I'm being, uh, I'm watching the outdoor cats outside my window. They're very relaxing. What is the obsession with that shit? I don't understand it. I don't know what is with you guys. What's your obsession with that alcohol, Brad? I don't have an obsession. She's outside. I'm a steward of God's creation, Brad. That's the obsession. It's on the right. Uh oh, there's a female about to enter the house, Andrew. <laughs> Jay from Canada's wife. Where's Mr. Kimbo tonight? How's he doing? He's all right. He popped his head out earlier, but he's nowhere to be seen. I'm going to go drown him in the toilet. Any requests for the breather shirt yet? All right, well, Lenny's now eating, so his microphone's going to be put down indefinitely. We're going to get more complaints about the chewing sounds in the phone. What's he eating? What are you eating, Lenny? Chicken sandwiches. Chocolate He's got chocolate. three chicken sandwiches. <laughs> My blood sugar's dropping. From Pollo Tropical. Well, I thought he didn't like that place. No choice. After work, I shot insulin. <laughs> what, what you guys trained today? Did you, go, did you guys fall at the gym? No, I did legs at Planet, and I just squatted on the patio. What do you do? You squat first, and then ride your bike over to yeah. Planet Fitness? Right press. Oh, you got the uh, power rack? Oh, <laughs> yeah, he uses the one Jay Masters gave him. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> you know, the gym teachers are like down there with all those women. I don't see from a quarter of that up in these gyms. Well, there's a nice woman that just is sitting at the table right now. Jay's wife. And it's not Jay Masters' wife. <laughs> Keep going. That's funny. Uh, you gotta send me a picture of Jay Masters, old lady. No, nah, you don't want to see that. <laughs> Why not? Trust me when I tell you. Uh oh. Lenny's told me a lot about her. <laughs> her yeah, she's pretty kinky from what I hear. Lenny's never met her. Is it his old lady or former old lady? I don't know, man. <laughs> Old lady. You so you say get, that again. How was the mall? Did you get anything? It was good. What'd you get? Just a few tops. <laughs> I, like your, for whatever you I like your Canadian about. accent. It reminds me of somebody. You ever hear of Christina <laughs> Broccolini? Uh, ever female de uh, guest on the podcast? No, we had Emma. We had Emma on. Oh, you did have her? Yeah. And we had, of course, Tranny Mate. I call her Tranny. <laughs> <laughs> He had to ride me home by himself. He was very uncomfortable the other night. Ride me home. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good time, though. The fans that came down were cool from New York. They, Yeah, Ian was all right. I liked him. Yeah, he yeah. reminds me of a co-worker of mine. He's just like him. How long did they st did he stay at the gym this morning with you? Not that much longer. Yeah. Yeah, he was cool. Your fellow New York. What part of New York did they come from? <laughs> Long Island. Long Island. Long Island. Yeah. The other guys are from Jersey. Where my parents are from. Nice. <laughs> Ordering food. Ordering food for Ordering food? Oyo Tropical. That's what he's eating. You're kidding. No, I've never been there. It's right up the street here. Yeah. yeah it's not it. bad. 
Yeah, Lenny's got to get a hold of that Deco Drive video, find out where it is. We were talking about that earlier. I went through them. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's probably mixed with other ones, but... What do you mean you went through them? I had Jay Masters' old VHS TV in one, and I go through them. It was pretty convenient. You just pop it right in. I, I remember when those came out. That was considered such innovative technology. Oh, so you, you actually the have the VHS of it? Yes. Oh, okay. i got to find it. You can't. Mm. I wonder if we can find it online. That's some... Got to go through Deco Drive and it covering the southern states. Hmm. 2004. You Google that shit. Both people's obsession with president didn't find that yet. I don't know. Yeah. These guys are pretty good. Funny, didn't you get the, uh, the 05 Southern too? Didn't you buy those? The one we did in 05? I don't think so. No, I just got the one. I did get it off Teresa. Remember the, uh, what's the two face? 2000, look 2000, Serena Williams lookalike with the thong and the pantyhose. Oh, God. The double teaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen her last time I saw Larry. I think I, you, you left and I still haven't, they, I saw them before you left of South Carolina. It's been that long. Jesus Christ, I don't even know where to fucking look. Yeah, same thing with Lou. Like, I'd ask him about people. He's like, I haven't seen them since you last did that Florida State show. I'm like, geez. Yeah, a lot of people went to jail. A lot of people left. A lot of those scammer embezzlers end up doing a lot of time scamming people like that. But there's marketing schemes. Or 15 buck PayPal. Why do you have to chew with your fucking mouth open? Can't you close your mouth while you chew? You're no. disgusting, man. I don't think it's... Knock it off. I don't think the mic is picking it up. I can hear well, it. you're sitting directly it's across from like him, so you have to look cow, at it. I need to get some oxygen, Brad. Your dad should have punched you in the face every time you chew your fucking He's mouth up. He's not here, so you could be my dad. Do <laughs> so you want me to punch you in the face? Yeah. <laughs> punch me in the tank, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> you sick fuck. You taught me that word. Nate, Nate didn't do enough of that for you the other night? Yeah, with his tongue. Oh, my God. Tongue in the taint. Wonderful. <laughs> tongue in the taint, Nate. How about it, Nate? Tongue in the taint, Nate. <laughs> you want to come on up here and collab with me. We could do a eating video and a training video in the gym. He wants no parts of those eating videos. How do you think you would do against him in an eating video, uh, eating contest, Andrew? What? Depends on what it is. I think I can hold my own. What would it be? Like pizza? pizza for speed, I, I could I could hold my own. Uh, certain things, you, well, I'm sure you would me. Like we'll hold this on as a back page training too. <laughs> Tongue in the chain, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> you see those videos people make of them, like running from you. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking great, man. He's never gonna get away yeah, from I that. Yeah, I did the spider on the back when he's driving. I ran my left hand. I said, "There's a spider on your back." He goes, get your hands off me. <laughs> <laughs> I see when I come in to have a couple of drinks of water. He goes, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's all because of his reaction. Well, yeah, about exactly. The time when you were in Pittsburgh and you slept over your buddy's house and you jumped in bed between the, the kids' dad and mom. Yeah, in high school. Party. Yeah, I was with my grandmother at 19. Oh, my God. This kid named Ed Farabaugh. <laughs> I mean, jumping in the bed, I was drunk too. Went right in the bed with him as, and he's such a coward. He's like, honey, he said to his wife, there's a large young man in our bed right now. <laughs> and she woke up, she goes, get the hell out of here, Lenny. <laughs> you really fucking did that? Yeah. Oh right. my God. Because he's the type, he let people, it was cold out, he let people in. We watch fun TV. How, how old were you? I was 19 when I got kicked out of my house. I was living with my grandmother. And I basically did what I wanted. It didn't work. You know, buying people beer, invite, get paid for doing that, invited to parties. It was great, but I jumped into their, his parents' bed when they were sleeping under the covers. What a fucking sick And the fuck guy was such a wimp. He did, you know. <laughs> a wimp. I love that. <laughs> great. I don't think that would fly with Dale Chance. He'd probably shoot somebody. <laughs> well, now he knows not to let you sleep over. But Cornelius, that may be a different story. Oh, if geez. you get my drift, Cornelius. <laughs> so I heard you corresponded with Cornelius. You want to, Andrew, you want to go into detail? 
Yeah, he's uh, I was like, uh, I don't know who you are. I'm like, I have we met? He's like, so I'm I'm Dale Chance's uh, coach, and then he put sent me a picture of Dale. I don't know. I guess it was after the show. The Ruby. He looked pretty good. Good legs. But uh, boy, I'd have I'd have a tough time back. saying I'm Dale Ch- Chance's coach. That'd be pretty embarrassing. You're such a prick. <laughs> Cornelius posed a challenge to me to do the 2019 Ruby. He said, uh, if I beat him there, he'll pay for my uh, show fees, NPC fee, my tanning fees. But I never got back to him. So. Tell him to put it in writing. <laughs> That'd be a good challenge. Well, you yeah. compete against me, and you know what yeah. I want out of it. Because Dale, and, Dale and him will both be ready for that by 2019. Yeah, that sounds good. I think Cornelius, he would, he'd do that. He's a man of his word, I would think. Dale said he's a good guy. Cornelius is a standoff guy. Yeah, I believe it. that. You don't need it. Right. You don't need it. Right. It's not. It's not like it's fucking millions of dollars. Anyway, can you get in shape for the 2018? If you do, just get your wife a strap on. That's all I ask. If I beat you, he can't. Work, he can't work out for another few months. He, he's not. Yeah. Cornelius. Oh, poor baby. Use an incorrect form. You ever tear your peg, Jay? You're a trainer. I haven't. No. You ever tear any muscles? No, the uh, worst I've really done is I tweaked my wrist once, and that was about it. Yeah, those rednecks are tearing things left and right, being <laughs> hospitalized. <laughs> <laughs> Little misguided. Cornelius acts like he's the greatest trainer that ever lived. If you talk to him, like he's an expert on bodybuilding. Well, he got Dale the Pale Whale in shape. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Dale just simply quit eating stuff in that redneck southern food down his gullet. That's the only way he got in shape. I seen those restaurants, if you could call them that, on your drive to the gym. What the hell is that? The country kitchen or some shit like that? Oh, it's big up here. Meat and three, they call it. The what? Meat and three. So you get a meat and three vegetables. That's like the popular. Uh, you know, cuisine around here. You would fucking live there, and you're meat and three vegetables. What about all the carbs those fat asses are shoving down their gullets? <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Yeah, there's a lot of overweight people here in the south. A lot of fat <laughs> slobs. <laughs> Quit being so politically correct. A bunch of fat, diabetic, insulin-resistant pigs. <laughs> Dale being one of them. It's in his blood. Remember that. Don't chew into the mic. It's a fetish. I saw the girls chewing food. I saw it online. It's a fetish. Forget it, Brad. He's on a roll. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. I think Dale's getting turned on hearing me chew. <laughs> his convalescent center. That's the only part of his body that's probably that's moving right now. That's the when you chew on his nuts. <laughs> Did you see him at Boston Lloyd? I don't know where he was. Him and Cornelius. They went to a show or something. Yeah, there was a show up, uh, up in this area this past weekend. Yeah, I saw those pictures so dale that's dale's claim to fame i yeah, met boston, boston lloyd. lloyd was that tall he's tall cornelius yeah. beat boston lloyd why don't you blow boston lloyd dale and then you really got some publicity <laughs> <laughs> put it on pornhub uh you you're dying yeah, for somebody to join you stage, when you do a show i'll come back and do a show how about that who's that brad you no not me. Why not? Because, man, I don't have the discipline for that. They, they wouldn't I let Brad compete. Like He's I, too inked up. If I, you're inked up, the judges place you down. I like to eat and drink. You can. Just, just uh, you'd have a 16-week block where you don't do that. And it'll be more enjoyable when you're back to drinking and eating regular. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> just yeah, think. You get an awesome rebound because you put your, diet, your body through that, that strict dieting. You'll grow like a weed afterwards. So that's another thing. I wouldn't even know how to diet properly i wouldn't even know what the fuck to see what easy as hell six meals a day first three meals protein carbs last three meals protein fats and green vegetables i think he drinks water end of story yeah hmm. i don't know if i could do that <laughs> no nah, i'm not interested where does the vodka and whiskey fit in all that exactly yeah, it doesn't get some of that water if you know what I mean you'll forget all about that yeah. no calories and a growth hormone release is it growth hormone release good REM sleep anti-cortisol yep I'm on a mission to find that just be careful with it I mean many times I pass on and end up in the ER many times 
Well, I'm gonna. You're gonna be my guinea pig. Yeah, I'll be it. <laughs> no, last one was a guinea pig. I find some. I'll be like Leonard's. Leonard's. I was passed on front of Win Dixie. So if you pass out, it's ambulance. good. <laughs> then I was talking dirty to the ER nurse. Very dirty. And I heard the doctors laughing their asses off. And did you give her a foot massage? <laughs> <laughs> she was a. I remember one time I was bouncing off in West Palm, and this one guy just—we bounced together. His license was suspended. So I drive him, and he should always have like a gallon of G. A or gallon? Too much as like, yeah, oh, all the time. So I went in my truck, and I was passing out on the floor. He's like, go out in your truck and just sleep it off. So I was out of it, and the gallon was sitting in my truck on the passenger side. I was thirsty, I was water. Took a swig of that, oh man. You have to drive home, needless to say. Yeah, that's the bad part, yeah. I saw you at that place in Delray with Sean Sweezum. Brad quit Jacks, by the way. <laughs> Don't worry, she can't recoup any money, you quit. <laughs> so I understand Sean had a negative thing to say about Brad, didn't he? Sean's mother just died a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's when Andrew told me, yeah. Yeah, suddenly she just died. Aneurysm, right? I don't know. Yeah, that's, she was young. Sean doesn't like me because I tell it how it is. Too bad, Sean. <laughs> Actually, me and him get along fine. He's all right. Yeah, like they say, birds of a feather flock together. <laughs> Is that his only job over there? A pizza place? Who, Sean? Yeah. Yeah. He's actually got good genetics. I mean, I mean when he would train and, you know, he was consistent eating and, like, and lifting and stuff. He, he had good genetics. He was like an athlete. So supposedly he was a good high school football player. But... Yeah, that's what he said. He used to be able to dunk a basketball, too. Let's see the film, Sean. Yeah, I know, right? But he got yeah, fucked. He got fucked. You, didn't see it. you didn't see him while you were down here, did you? No, I spoke to him last week, him and his buddy Justin. We all worked together at the LA Fitness and Point. He's like, why didn't you come see me? I was like, I, I didn't have much time, to be honest. It went so quick. I was only there two full days, basically, so. Yeah, he withered yeah, away. Whatever. Yeah, he got into a motorcycle accident and dislocated his elbow. So he can't train at all. It looks fucked up too. He's got to get surgery. It's another junkie. What in Delray? You're kidding? Yeah, me. exactly. Likes that fentanyl shit. That's great. Take up fentanyl. That's great. Yeah. Sounds like a new hobby. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to try to make that happen. Lenny, do you want to try to set that up? You speak to Lou. Yeah, I got a text up on my phone. Do you know how to text now? Sort of. Oh, Brad, show me again. <laughs> like the go-to guy with this fucking phone. The go-to guy with the electronics and the drugs. Oh, my God, Leonard. You fucking moron. <laughs> You're such a fucking moron. <laughs> what kind of phone did you get, Lenny? A cheap phone. With a high pixel. <laughs> Do you know what that means? Yes. High pick, what does that mean? High it pick. means like components that make your Where picture. Where is it? Take, give it's it to in me. my car. Your car. My car. 40 and slip. Where Soon to car? be my car. Yeah, right. And I don't know why I just said that. Because <laughs> you're a moron. Because Brad's going to give it to me because he's going to strike it rich. Yeah, I wish. If I strike it rich, you can have it. You heard it here. Yeah, I think it's going to happen. It's a, a Freudian slip. I actually foresee that happening for some strange reason. I hope you're right. And Jay here is going to hook me up with Christina. He's going to work on it when he gets back. I'll do my best. Thank you. Now that he's going to... Uh, if somehow I could make it happen, I would. You're Canadian. Your foot's already in the door. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know she even still fucking lives there, Leonard? It's beautiful up there. Prince Edward Island. I think that's the name. Close. Is that that's the name, right? Prince Edward Island. Yeah, there's Prince Edward Island. There. Yeah, she lives close to there. We're born there. Always pictures of her in a nice, beautiful. What's going for down there nowadays? Anybody know? What? What was the question? One bedroom apartments. What are they going for in that area? I don't know. It all depends. 
you can't even find a one. It's all twos, pretty much. Why don't you move in one floor below? There's a nice, beautiful Cuban girl I know that's single. Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> she has a kid, but I she's... just got that. <laughs> it's worth it. She's very cute. So you can become part of the family. <laughs> she's very family-oriented. Family <laughs> you hear what he said? Branch Warren doesn't got the yeah, guts to approach her. This kid took your challenge. He said he'll be in Boca, in Boca area this summer. No, this summer. This summer, yeah. <laughs> I thank you. You took the time to let me, it'd be an honor for me to get into the ring with someone of your credentials. You gonna film it, Andrew? Yes. Absolutely. Brad's filming him deliver a message. Just take it easy on me. I'm an old man. Hold on a second. <laughs> Don't, listen. Don't start making excuses. No, I want this kid to get real cocky and happy. Go ahead and just, yeah, I'm filming. I'm looking forward to the challenge. It'll be a good, clean fight, and hopefully we'll, the better man will obviously come out on top. But you did state if I was in there a minute, it'd be about five thousand dollars. I, you, you are such a dipshit. That's my sometimes. Las Vegas. That's you my Las Vegas. Stop filming, and you just keep. That's going. my Las Vegas vacation money. You want to go to Vegas? Well, in the all you got to do is last a minute. He's going to give you five so grand. Going, yeah, that's what he's doing. Yeah. Veterans Day, we'll go. Yeah, it's a good time to go in between contests. Yeah, that's fine. Every and great bodybuilder takes a few face. months off after the contest and goes on vacation, right? Have you ever been to Vegas, Andrew? No, I've never been out there. Well, if I get the five thousand dollars, I'll get. I'll pay for your way. Yeah, it's not that expensive. You recommend I go out there and visit? Yeah, but the escort fees, which you are entitled to, because you did not, you missed out, and I felt bad. There's a reason that happened. Andrew couldn't sin if he tried. He's it's like he's protected, you know. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Well, give me Andrew would have gotten bait and switched just like you did. What do you mean? You see, the only bait and switch is the only bait and switch I had was. I just got the number one instead of the number one and two. That was the bait and switch. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> fucking gross. Leonard would have never gotten taken for a thousand either. No fucking chance. No, most I ever paid was 150, and that was years ago. He even stiffed that fucking stripper that day, too. Yeah. He only gave her a hundred bucks. What she did for you was at least 300. I was like, oh, that's all I got is a hundred dollars. That's great. Did you watch it yet, Brad? Huh? No, thanks. <laughs> Why, why? I don't want to see that. Andrew sent me the clip of him getting his figs, getting pissed in his Nate mouth. Nate saw every detail because he kept bringing stuff up. I don't, need, I don't need to see that. Jay, Jay watched like it. Score, you gotta watch it. Nah, <laughs> no, that's all right, man. When, when Jay was watching it, he was like texting me and Brad with Marv Albert play-by-play -play of the whole video. Oh yeah. Jay, is that true? No, what? not this Jay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Masters. <Yeah. laughs> nah. Well, in the, in the future videos, Jay, Jay can do the official color commentary. I think Jay Masters had like one of those on-screen telestrators, you know, that they use. <laughs> Drawing on it and everything. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I did enjoy it, though. Maybe he could have drawn a dick on you. <laughs> yeah, to make up for my lack of. You fucking... Sorry, shit. You wonder why you haven't gotten any more offers after that nonsense. It had to be camera shyness, camera fright. It's not easy to do that, you know. Why don't you get like a another tranny to film it? Would you feel more comfortable like that? No, I, I'm, I, I think Lou gave me some of that. I don't want to say it. Somebody gave me some kind of uh, painkiller. Why don't you say? You say everything else. It gives <laughs> a no, he gave me. You know what it was? Baclofen. The fuck is that? Andrew knows what it is, right? Baclofen. Jay, you know what it is. Baclofen. Right? Baclofen. That's what the, that's what I was given. Mm. You said that's a painkiller. You. Said, I think Palumbo spoke about it. It sounds familiar. It's something like that, but it was called Baclofen. I took two. How the fuck would you take it if you don't even know what it is? You got Bill Cosby, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he used to do when these girls would come to his house. He would answer the door in a robe, and he'd say, "Take these pills; they'll help you relax." And, Next. He, could, and he couldn't get a heart on. <laughs> oh, by the way, Andrew, everybody wants to know when I was singing that song to Christina 
Everybody said you were packing heat. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that? That's funny you brought that up. That's good you did because they wanted more. You were packing heat. You if you look at your pants, something is sticking out of there. <laughs> you didn't no, see that? No, look no, carefully no. at that. Ode to Christina Broccolini video. Yeah. They say you're packing heat. <laughs> I mean, something is sticking out of there. It's like it's like a water bottle. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, doing another podcast. Whoa, special who's guest that from, freak to my right? Guest from Canada. Look at that definition. See the wolf, and this fucking idiot can't help himself but eat on the goddamn microphone again. I got that insulin pumping all these nutrients into my muscle cells, Dale. What's God, going into your muscle cells? Chewing tobacco? <laughs> he started chewing tobacco when he was eight. I gotta get with Lou. I'm sure the royalties are on the way. My foot's in the door, but like Jay said, I will make uh, redemption videos. Pornhub. How many views does it have so far? Can you take over you know? Pornhub? I think it has about 15,000. I haven't checked because uh. I'm embarrassed to look at myself, but <laughs> you should be. <laughs> Have that? Have any of these YouTube jerk offs done like my reaction to Lenny's porno video yet? <laughs> I like, gotta type that in. I never like, saw them yet, but Jerry Ward, you know the usual bunch. I'd always are quick to make, you know, their. I haven't watched. Dale, I want to see you make a reaction video. I haven't Dale. seen any. Normally, it would it'd be under you know recommended for you, but I haven't seen anything. Like that. Dale did a reaction video, but it got banned because he started jerking off to it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> In the convalescent center, in his wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a fucking idiot. Oh shit. That's. Uh, oh man. Where are you, Dale? We're waiting. Angie, why don't you get Dale and you and Dale can drive down? Yeah, he's not too far from here. I don't know what town. Yeah, he'll pick you up. Where the fuck is he again? I don't know if we want him to drive. Yeah, ten hours. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> you feel safe getting in the car with that fuck? <laughs> you might want to do the driving yourself. How do you get that? Oh my god, soon as you get gas on the road. What are you just talking about? Say that again, Andrew? <sighs> How did Dale get in a car accident? Was he did he drive on a, like an icy road or something like that? Just, just driving like a maniac. All hyped up on pre workout. Hey, does the young lady want to get on the mic and introduce herself? Really? You don't want to be famous? I'm shy. All the women are shy. Except for Emma. You can be famous. Yeah, famous. Just, Jay, do you give her permission? Oh my sure. God. I know you call the shots and all that. <laughs> That's right. Well, someone's got to believe it. Uh, yeah, she can go right ahead if she wants. You don't want to say introduce yourself? or no, it's okay. You like Florida? I love it here. Good. What, what, what podcast is this? Nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> On our way to five hundred podcasts. Jesus, that's the goal. Five hundred. Imagine four hundred eighty-one to go. Doing one a week that's for a eternity. <laughs> of course, I'll be one hundred and sixty. So, I'll <laughs> Lenny, do you, do, you, do you think you can live for five hundred episodes? Well, you figure fifty a year, fifty-two a year, ten years—that's five hundred. Yeah. So you'd have to live to be what? Well, fifty-seven. Yeah. Can you do that? Yeah, I'm eighteen forever. I think so. I think I'll surprise a lot of people. But if I don't, what sort of number is this? Nineteen. <laughs> chair I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened over there? I'm missing am I missing something? Did I miss a great event? <laughs> yeah, don't start that. He's gonna get this he's gonna get horny. Did he some girls fart and shit on him. He's disgusting. Andrew, I think the girl the yellow young lady here farted. <laughs> <laughs> You're missing it. You're oh. such an imbecile. <laughs> No wonder it smells so great in here. Oh. <laughs> uh, she's going to wish she never came in here. <laughs> so I wish she stayed in the car. Uh, Anybody been in contact with Tony Huge? He's in Mexico right now, actually. He's close. He said he'd pay for our trip. 
Colombia. You got? Have you gotten your passport? Not yet. Uh huh. When the fuck are you gonna do that? When's a free workout getting made? He's working on it. When's Christina coming down? When's Lucy coming down? I don't know, but if you want to go to Columbia, you got to get a passport. Pre-workout has nothing to do with that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, he knows it. I'll get it what tomorrow. The... Yeah, you'll get it tomorrow. Who wants to bet Leonard doesn't get a passport tomorrow? Yeah, I get a passport. Some of the cookie cutters will tie me up and ship me to Port-au-Prince, and I'll be <laughs> fucked. You have a passport, Andrew? No. Of course you don't. Another fucking meathead with no fucking brains. I've been out of the country before. I went on a couple cruises back in high school. <laughs> well, that, actually, now you have to have a passport to go on those cruises. You used to not have to when you go to the Bahamas and shit. But now you have to have a passport even to go on those. Pretty much to go anywhere. They let, it's, it's 80 bucks in the last 10 years. Huh. Huh. <laughs> you want to see some insulin-resistant pigs, you go on those cruises. <laughs> 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 All right, let's wrap That's, this shit up. Yeah. All right, Andrew, we're going to let you go, go, man. All right, man. All right, dude, we'll talk to you later. Yeah, I'll give you a call. All right, have a good night. All right, dude, be All great. Right. What else do you have to eat in there, Leonard? Vitamins. You're not going to shit in the car, are you? <laughs> Is that a Freudian slip? Why don't you fix that? Pull that thing down. <laughs> we know which microphone it says. It's the one with all the fucking food on it. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. They want to hear that, too. And wipe it. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, they don't give a shit here. Who cares? What's the has a microphone wiping fetish. <laughs> what do you mean by that, Dale? <laughs> You're twitching while you say you fucking dope. We went Dale on the podcast, don't we? I'll call him next week. Call him, call him up next week. We watching it. What you Jay, is there anything you'd like to say? Any future predictions, future plans, future goals? I think Jay. Message to the he maniacs. Said he's competing. Are you doing a photo shoot and then competing? Right? Yeah. Yeah. You want to compete at the Ruby? It's the end of September. Could be doable. Yeah. A lot of publicity. Now. Do you have it's a fun. message for the maniacs that you want all the youth to know? Um, what sort of advice for life's advice from what you've learned over your very interesting and very dangerous life so far? I'm getting stabbed. Uh, stress less, lift more. That's really all I got in life. Lifting re relieves stress. It definitely does that. Honestly, if I would have started a lot sooner, been a lot better. It really is probably the best release. It's my anger management. Yeah, probably keeps me from getting in a lot more trouble. And the idiots took the weights out of the prisons. Because they were getting too strong for the corrections officers. Boo-hoo. Well, get off the when donuts. Did, that, did they really? When did that happen? They've been doing that for years. Oh, really? Get off the donuts, you fat slobs. Well, how did your friend uh, Kelly Muscle get so big? From a needle. Yeah. Trend. <laughs> He uses fake weights, cuts chicken legs. <laughs> He's your typical low life piece of garbage. <laughs> Lifting boulders at I actually forgot playground. about her, yeah. <laughs> I actually <laughs> forgot about her with that ignorance. I couldn't resist bringing it up. Yeah. Yeah, he just. And that guy gets followers. There's a lot of cookie cutters around. But it's I'm, unbelievable, man. He's see. getting less and less popular. I can't watch it. more than 30 seconds of any of these. either. Shit. I can start them, dislike it, and turn it off. That's about as far as I get. I can't tolerate hearing him talk no, just it's, just the shit stupid. it's just stupid. i'm actually blocked from his instagram for commenting stuff on there something about nasal decongestant or <laughs> <laughs> poor baby he can't take an insult can he no he insult him he goes boo hoo hoo he has to make videos about me and buy more followers well i got to you you're a weak-minded subhuman <laughs> that's your legacy Took the easy way out, got locked up. Your dad took the easy way out. Looking for paradise in Jonestown. What do you get? Kool-Aid cyanide drink. <laughs> you follow Jim Jones into you know where too after that. You did your research on this animal, didn't you? No, I research all the animals in history, all the demagogues, and see why people fall for these creeps. <laughs> it never ceases to amaze me.
There's a lot of stupid people on this planet, Leonard. Yes, Gail yep. Chance is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Follows PJ Braun to the... For what? I don't know. Free shirts and free supplements. Free fart powder and some free shirts. You don't know how bad I wanted this sponsorship. Man. Come on, Dale. Quit thinking in those terms. You're better than that. I don't even know if he's still with Blackstone. <laughs> I'm I shocked. Any, I don't see any. Yeah. I'm shocked. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen anything in a while. We might have parted ways after that bullshit. Who yeah, cares? It's, it's all awesome. the same shit anyway. What the fuck's the difference in all that stuff? Like, everybody wants free stuff, that's for sure. If it doesn't hurt, but don't sell yourself for it. Yeah, well, it's especially when it's so overpriced from what it really costs to fucking make, you know? Yeah, well, if they offered me free stuff tomorrow, I'd take it, but that's for sure, but... End of the well, I don't want any free stuff, I just want Christina. You're full of shit because you get free shit from that place, New World Nutritionals. I'm helping the business. <laughs> <laughs> I owe everything to Christina. I'm alive here today because of her intervening, warming my heart and strengthening it the right way. You want to sing her a song on the way out? Uh, <laughs> what would you sing at home? When Another you firefall hit. Okay. You are the woman that I've always dreamed of. I knew it from the start. I saw your face and that's the last I've seen of my heart. It's not so much that pretty face I see. It's not the clothes you wear. It's more that special way you look at me that always keeps me there. Whoa, you are Christina's the woman that I've always dreamed of. I knew it from the start. I saw your face and that's the last I've seen of my heart. Of my heart. Ooh, of my heart. I love you, Christina. Have a good night. <laughs>